Hello. Wow, friends. Hi. How are you on this lovely, lovely Sunday afternoon? Uh, sometimes I say after rune for some reason. Hello. Oh, you guys. I'm so excited because we're playing a new game today. We're playing a new game today. I'll tell you all about it in a sec. Oh, yeah. See, here's why I call it after rune because of Ruka. Uh, always showing up from his midday nap to get up on my lap here and be very sweet. Yeah. Hi guys, how are you? Happy Sunday. Hello, oh, I'm doing super well, Freezing Hook. Thanks for asking. Hi, Natasha. Hello. Aww, isn't he a sweet boy? Who are we dedicating this stream to today? Looks like it's gonna be uh, Kojima-san. I know it's not a Kojima game we're playing today, but you know, it's like, I think it's inspired by him. I wouldn't be surprised if it's inspired by him. Um, Hello there. I already said, hi, Freezing Hook, Natasha. Hello, Tricky, Pete the Dude. Hi, Sir D. Hello there, Mr. Tasty Kojimi. Hi, gaming since the 80s. You're feeling good? How you doing? Oh, feeling real good, real relaxed, real fine all the time. Hi, Charlie Aubrey. My cat's name is Ruka. Hi, Barry. Bryant, Charlie, hello, Privet, uh, name I, I don't know how to read, uh, Tiger Cat, James, M. Hal, Ghost Rider, SpaghettiO, Imana, Cutie Falcon, hello there, Emod, Rage187, hey, Ghost Rider, and Aldri, Jack, Kevin, Christine, hello. How are you guys? Oh, you guys, I have not seen you in like, I don't know, like 20 hours or something crazy like that. How long has it been? Too long, I think. I want to say Ruka missed you. I'm pretty sure he did. Look at his little sweet face. You guys, of course he did. Look, at how could someone so sweet exist in the world that we live in today? Hi, Yates. Thanks. Thanks. It's a dress. Oh, it's a lovely... 70s inspired dress. I'll show it to you guys really soon. I love this dress. I, I got it recently. It's a real velvet. Ooh. Hail Rue. Oh, hello. Yes, everyone. Hail Rue. Uh, thanks, Kevin. Um, Peter, hi. I don't know if I said hi to you. Um, you guys, so we're gonna play a game today. Um, I'll tell you about it in a second. Oh, no continuation of the gear stream from yesterday, gaming since the 80s says. Uh, I couldn't find a way to get rid of the screen shake and the, um, the tunnel vision stuff that it does. I couldn't find a mod that would do that safely. So I can't play it right now, at least while I'm like feeling motion sickness from it. So adorable. Does he need an older girlfriend? I have a 16 year old all black kitty. Aw, yeah, he would love her. Ruka's like 15, they're like the same age. Velvet and gold chains goes nice, thanks. Hi, Jace Fix It. Um, appreciate it, Peter. Yeah, this little cat was sleeping on my lap this morning. Very cute. You guys would have thought it was absolutely adorable. Um, we watched, um, what do we watch? Hmm. What the hell did I watch? Some crappy news. Um. Yeah, like a mobster's girlfriend. No. Yeah, maybe if I had like a first stole or something. Are you shy, Ruka? Hi, 
Hi, Jinkaki. Fallout series? Yeah, I've watched two episodes. Have you been watching it? Hi, Trek. Oh, yeah. Do you guys, um, do you guys like that picture of Kojima that I got behind me? Isn't it cute? I love that picture. Hi, Ricky. No, unfortunately not, Jack J. Oh, I love it when you guys post emotes and stuff. Where's my Twitch chat there? My favorite ones. I like the eyeballs. If they're gonna pop up. Ooh, that's slow. Yeah, Kato, that's the ones! That's the ones everyone likes. Bummies! Crazy, how's it going? Ooh, this is a good song, you guys. Woo, yeah! Let me see your best! Dancing emote. Oh, yeah, I'm favoriting this one. Pa 937, happy Sunday. You can't use that emote, you're not a subscriber. Oh, maybe someone will gift you a sub. Yeah, let me see those. Dancy, dancy. I need an A. Give me an egg! Hey, Daniel Mary. <laughs> oh, you guys are cute. Oh, that's fucking awesome. I love it. Uh, can you guess how many AI girlfriends I have? Charlie says. Ten. I bet you have ten AI girlfriends. One is too many. Inspect the deck. Hey, hey, Matthew. <laughs> Imana, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's jam, guys. Oh, nice eggs, Matthew. Where'd you get those eggs? Oh, I like those ones, Bill. Steven, that's good. <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah. Hey, Albert. Who needs real girls when you have 10 AI girlfriends? No kidding. That's so much easier. Hell yeah. Give me 10 AI girlfriends. What are their names? Hello, Christian. Hey, DD Peter. That is, yeah. <laughs> Do you like him? It switched songs, you guys. I'm gonna look up that artist. Oh no, it's only the one song they make. Uh, oh well, this is a good genre. Yeah, that's Kojima, Peter. What's your favorite Kojima game? Hey, Natasha, how's your uh, DD2 playthrough? Oh, you unlocked it, how? Albert, hi, hi, Charlie, hi, Dustin Frazier. Hi, one day at a time. Used points. Oh, it lets you use points for that? <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Okay, I'm glad. 
Okay, your favorite Kojima game, Metal Gear Solid 1. Good choice. Okay, my favorite is... Metal Gear Solid 3. And then 4. Uh, or it's Death Stranding. Oh, it's too many. I don't know. I don't know. I want to try the Police Knots game I just got. Zone of the Enders. I don't know what that is. Is that a Kojima game? I've never heard of it. What is that all about? Uh, not really. Okay, Guns of the Patriot best. Oh, Guns of the Patriot is so good. Uh, gaming since the 80s uh, agrees with me. Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, close, followed by Snatcher. Hey, what's Snatcher? I don't know that one. Aw, my music tab crashed. Uh, yes, Kojima, it's a PS2 mech game. <gasps> what? I never heard of that it. Oh, okay. How was your productive evening, Megan? Dustin Fraser, uh, not very productive, but just fine. Uh, I didn't really do much today. I just, uh, just got ready, really. Eight. Uh, I recommend Zone of the Enders, the second runner. If you like giant mech games, it's a Hideo Kojima game. Yeah, that sounds really cool, but does the Kojima part of it make up for the fact that it's a giant mech game? I prefer giant mech anime, like Gundam. I don't really think I like playing as the mech too much. After playing um, that most recent mech game that I can't remember the name of. Except, however, if it's, um, if it's that other mech game that everyone loves, I like that one too. That FPS uh, wall running... Uh, one called uh something something two i don't even know someone will know exactly what i mean though hi eric where's ruka the overlord must have his screen time oh he was here he was getting all his screen time trust me uh titanfall titanfall that's the one yeah 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 you know what i mean when i say my gibberish you know what i also want is some fog I would like to bask in the rainbow fog glow. Yes, let's get all foggy. It feels good, man. Yeah, Titanfall 2. Okay, if you like anime, you definitely like the second runner. It's cell shaded to look anime. Ah, oh, dang, really? Really? Ooh, isn't this mysterious, this fog? Oh my god. I'm feeling really mysterious in this. Yeah, that sounds uh, that sounds really interesting. It's from the PS2 era? Uh, PS2 mech, Gameville Steven says. Yeah, okay. That actually sounds very cool. Uh, what did I have for supper tonight? Uh, well, I had um, some... Chickpea curry. Uh, and it was delicious. I had it with some spinach. Smoke alarm going off in three, two, one. No, I barely pressed it. I barely pressed the fog button. I don't think it might. I mean, if you hear it, let me know. And I'll go. I'll go fix it. We'll see. Mmm, yeah, Imana, good idea. Is 90 degrees where you live today? Yeah, 90 degrees sounds hot. Let me think of what that is in normal people units. It's gone all Silent Hill. Yeah. Isn't that right, Kojima? Yeah. Aw, oh, could you imagine? Could you freaking imagine? You guys, I'm so worried about the new Silent Hill game. 
Look, I know Bluebird is amazing. They they did a really good job with other games that I've played. Bluebird, good job. Um, but I'm worried. I'm really worried. Like, what if what if it's not good? That'd be 30-ish Celsius. Ugh. You prefer Fahrenheit to Celsius, more fine-grained? I mean, you can also just use the decimals if you want fine-grained. But I get it. Uh, let me check my temperature. Let's see. Uh, my watch says... Um, um, does my watch say my temperature? <laughs> says my heart rate uh 96 great um my day da, 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 da. oh it's uh uh it's 12 to 14 degrees today celsius that's not very um that's not very warm it takes too long to say that's true hi certified quality I want another Silent Hill and hopefully they create it good to keep the reputation going up to the originals. Agreed. Agree, yeah. Hi, Kepenke. Uh No, I'm just a regular lady. Hi, Wesley. Uh, James. They let the fog machine run all the time and play Silent Hill. Perfect atmosphere. 96, heart rate when at rest. What the shit? That's why I stopped taking my heart rate off the screen. Uh, I have a, I have a naturally very high heart rate. Uh, whenever I go to the doctor, they're like, yeah, your heart rate's real high, and some people's are just higher. And probably because I have zero um, uh, cardio ability, you know? But also, I just took a whole bunch of caffeine. Hi, Dustin. Hi, Certified. Hi, Danners. How's it going, Danners? Uh, part hummingbird. Yeah, I mean, uh, I can get my heart rate even faster. Let's see what it is now. 94. Okay. It was, um, apparently it was, uh, well, my heart range is only between 62 and 119. That's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, no, I, my heart rate's really, really high. Um, and, um, Whenever I would have my heart rate on the screen, people would always be like, are you in cardiac arrest? Because it would be like, 120, 120, zero. Because, it, because the little thing would disconnect. Um, and uh, yeah, it was. Uh, so I stopped doing that because people couldn't understand that some people are hummingbirds. Yeah. 82 degrees out here today. It's hot. You guys, where do you guys live that you get the nice hot weather? Hi, Hossein. Hi, Adam Wilson. Hi, Lillian. That's okay. You join whenever you can. Norbert, hi from Germany. Hey, Guten Morgen. Well, it's 3 o'clock, 2.30 a.m. What would it be in Germany right now? Like 3 a.m.? Yeah, guten, uh, guten, uh, gut, gute nicht. Illinois? Yeah, Illinois gets the hot weather, really? 83. I couldn't even tell you where Illinois, uh, is on a map, so for me it's all a surprise if anything in the States is hot. I'm just like, oh wow, that, I mean, I obviously I know where California is and Florida and Washington State. Hey, we should do a uh, general knowledge test on American geography. I guarantee I won't be able to, I'll only be able to name like one quarter or one third um, of the states, I think. Oh, it's like in Vancouver right now, 14 Celsius. Oh, hell yeah. And Natasha, look up Gravesand, 51 Fahrenheit. 11! You have us beat. Ooh, England. England colder than Canada. What's going on? Yeah, toasty. That sounds so nice. Illinois, is it Illinois or Illinois? Is it, is it Illinois? Like, it's another state we want to give to Canada. Why, what's wrong with Illinois? 
Chicago, Illinois, 60652. Is it because of Chicago? Isn't Chicago the place where they dye their river green for some random reason? Oh no, the Chicago Marathon, the Chicago River. I don't know which one it is. Hi, Sean. Hi, VJ Max Gamer. Uh, Yates says I think Seattle is right next to Canada, or is it Detroit? Both. <laughs> ah! Yo, solid platinum. Yo. Yo, Steve. What's going on with that one, two, three, four, five magic, magic stream donation number? Hey, yeah, thanks so kindly, Steve. Oh my God. Thank you for your stream generosity, dude. Yeah. Let's put you on the mug and read your joke. Okay, I'm sure after this joke, you will tell me no more jokes, Steve. We'll see, can't be that bad. Okay, the joke is, uh, what's the difference between a G-spot and a golf ball? A guy will actually search for a go golf ball. <laughs> Not bad. Um, wow, you look so awesome. Big chef's kiss. Getting close to Xmas. Total two items PO. Oh my god. Total items to the PO. Uh, are you saying there's a Christmas level of presents going to my PO box right now? That's absolutely wild. Steve, thank you. Welcome to the mug, my friend. Here we go. Welcome to the mug. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay, do you guys want to see my dress? I'll show you guys my dress. It's so cute. I got it very recently. I think I've shown it to you guys before. Um, I just, uh, yeah, look at this. How adorable is this? So cute! I love it. And the sleeves are so cute too. Just like nice little long sleeves. And the collar is like 70s. Like I can wear it done all the way up. Yeah, 1970s style. Like I could wear it all the way done up, but that wouldn't be fun. It would still be cute. That's why I wore my hair kind of I wore my bangs a little straighter today because I was going to do the 70s straightening uh, thing. I didn't feel like straightening my hair. I just thought I gave it a little bit of a curl a little bit. Not much. You like the fabric and styling? Thank you. I, I really like this dress. I got it on Cider. I get so many gorgeous dresses and blouses on Cider. It's just like, it's an unlimited well of adorable clothing for me. And it's like all in my size too. It's so nice. It's so nice that you can order stuff that's like in your size and like uh, long enough. Like some of the stuff I buy from there is um, meant to be a dress, but it turns out to be a shirt for me. So that's fine. I can always wear pants. Some of the shirts, however, are so small. They're meant to go here. Like the shirt is meant to stop here. But I have this one gorgeous purple crochet shirt. It stops here. Uh, and that makes absolutely no sense to wear. Because uh, you'd just be falling out of that shirt and it would look ridiculous. It wouldn't even be a shirt. It's more like a freaking... I don't even know what that's called. Uh, what is that photograph on the table? Metalhead, that's Hideo Kojima. <laughs> it reminds you of the film Cube. Oh, are you also a Cube fan? Thanks, Dustin Frazier. Yeah. Graf, happy Sunday. Hi, Lane Areas. Hi, Joel. Hello. Rodrigo says, are you playing more Gears in the future? 
Uh, I would like to, and I want to. It's just that I got so um, motion sick from that game yesterday. I don't know what to do. I, I looked up a mod. I looked up to see if there was any mods that got rid of screen shake and stuff. Uh, and there is nothing that's not sketchy. Oh, Bolero at best. Yes, Kitty Mommy, like a backwards Bolero. Oh, I love Bolero jackets. So cute. Those used to be so in, remember? Remember when um, I think it probably was like 27, not 2017, 20, 2007. Um, it was so cute to wear gaucho pants, tank top, and bolero jacket and Uggs. Oh. And a statement necklace. Ugh. Yo, Steve. Hey. Thanks, man. How'd you get motion sickness? Oh, you get it from like, um, if it's, if the FOV is a little too low and there's too much screen shake or too much motion blur, uh, in a game, I get, I get like weird, nauseous feeling. It makes it so hard to play games. Certain games. Yeah. Would you mind to show us which game you have on the racks, Furry Lewis? Uh, I have so many games. Which one do you want to see? Thank you. Do you want to see the most recent games that I got? I'll show them to you. Axel, thanks for the 199 and the emoji breasts. Always a favorite. Thank you. Uh, what's a bolero? It's like um, a jacket that's just the sleeves. Um, and then it ends like right there. So it's like you put the sleeves on and then it just ends here and in your armpit. So it's like just like a sleeves it's sleeves but that's it i'll show you some of the uh most recent games that i got right here here's some sega saturn games oh yeah this one's Nights into Dreams. That one is um, Saturn Bomberman. That's Resident Evil. Ooh, Sega Saturn. That's Panzer Dragoon Saga. Alien Trilogy. And a Kojima game, Police Nods. Ooh. These are my newest games right now. Uh, Boomer Ty sent these to me the other day uh, for my Sega Saturn. And they are gorgeous. I love the cases. Yeah, lots and lots of retro games. Oh, can you go on a ship without getting motion sickness? Uh, I have before. I have before. Uh, yeah, you just have to be really like always like look out the window of the ship. Um, but yeah, if I it's the same way with a car. If, if I like if I'm in a car and I take my phone out to like look up a email or something, if I look at the phone too long, I'll get really sick. Axel, thank you for the 199 super chat. I'm still playing Rise of the Ronin. Oh, do you like it? Thanks, Axel. Mm, House Redoran says, what's your most favorite game in 2024? Oh, Dragon's Dogma 2. I did, Natasha. I did. Uh, yeah, it's freaking really, really good. Um, I got to a certain point. I got to the credits. I won't spoil anything. I just got to the credits. Uh, and then I did a little bit stuff past that. Uh, but I didn't finish it on stream. The stuff past that stuff. Um, I couldn't play the original Resident Evil 4 because of motion sickness. Oh, no. Did you ever get a mod or a FOV mod or anything? For that? What's the pill for motion sickness? Oh. Oh. Dramamine or something. They make you really tired though. I hate I hate the feeling of those. 
Sea sickness is sick. Sea sea sickness is a rough go. My buddy's had it real bad. Oh, do they get it? Yeah, it's ugh. Uh, I can deal with it on the ferry. Um, as long as I look out the window on the ferry, it's okay. Uh, but if it's a if the ferry is like really really big, um, you. you don't feel the ocean as much. Yo, Steve, thank you for the seven seven seven. Faruka, meow. Thanks, man. You play on PlayStation, so there's no mod. Oh, man. Well, if you do get a PC, there are lots of mods for that game, so maybe... Maybe one day. What about the remake? Yeah, James, that's the one. Axel, okay, so you're talking about Rise of the Ronin. You do like it. It could have been much more next gen, but there is so much to do, so much customization. I like it more than Final Fantasy VII Rebirth TBH. That felt like a grind after 30 hours. Oh, interesting. So Rise of the Ronin, not a grind? I uh, honestly haven't seen anybody stream Rise of the Ronin, so I didn't, um, I didn't really check it out. I, I just saw like, a couple of clips of it on release and thought, meh. Those small ass fishing boats are where they got it. Oh, I, I, I want to go whale watching so badly, but I don't think I could do it because of it. Otherwise, I'd have to be like completely out of my mind on Dramamine, uh, and then I miss all the whales. Go on the Carnival. That's a huge ship. Oh, the Carnival cruise ships. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, those are huge. Oh, you played the remake, original one. It makes me sick. Oh, that's so annoying. I hate that, Free Lewis. Rise of the Ronin is rated higher than Dragon's Dogma 2 on the PS Store. Not that it's actually better. Yeah, it's probably just the performance issues and stuff that make it happen. I don't know. Axel says that he feels disappointed for Rebirth. It seems very copy and paste, open world design. The resolution and textures issue really killed it for me. It looked very last gen. You noticed that too. Um, I actually had a lot of fun playing on stream, um, Rebirth, but I think I only put like 15 hours into that game, so I can't say that I have experienced all of it. Uh, yo, Jack, can you do the 360? You just missed it. I just did. You're the first person I've encountered to be disappointed with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh. Kevin, there's lots to be disappointed about. Otherwise, that, that game is very good, but um, I felt like the, the graphical stuff, it, it looked next-gen. I mean, it looked, it looked previous-gen to me. Uh, even though the game itself was good, and I, I found it quite fun. I didn't even get to try out the card game, though, I, I'm, and I regret that. You like Duke Nukem SpaghettiO? Um, which one's your favorite? Hi, Carrie. Uh, James says I put 80 hours into Rebirth. Ooh. Albert, you got motion sickness while snorkeling in Key West? No, I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you get motion sickness from snorkeling. Is it because of the... the uh, uh, tunnel vision? That would probably do it for me. I'd be like, how do I increase the FOV on these goggles? A uh, Queen's Blood card game uh, is so good, and that's from someone who sucked at Gwent. Oh, no. Shit. I'd really like to try it. Oh, dude. Hey! Steve, member for 33 months. Oh my god. As a pro member for 33 months, that's insanity, Steve. Thank you. Whoa, 33 and counting, getting so close to three full years. Oh, hell yeah. Cheers. Where does time go? Time flies. Time flies, you guys. Thanks a lot, Steve. It does fly. Yeah, what's going on with that? A 
Uh, did I play the epic Mickey series? Like Mickey Mouse? No. Hi, Sierra and Ryan. Hello. Oh, hey, Umbra. Not into Final Fantasy either. Never vibe with it at all. Yeah, I just... I like the premise, I think. And I like the look of the characters and, and how they act. And it's cool. It's kind of like a, kind of a cool story. There are certainly some things they could do better. Yes, Mickey Mouse RPG. Oh. No, I never tried it. Oh, is the other Megan joining you today? No, because I couldn't. I could only get one key for this. Um, if I if they offered me more than one, I was going to contact her and ask her if she wanted to play, but uh, I could only get one key, so we're going to play solo. Uh, we're playing a closed beta of a game today, guys. It's a large, like, open world survival... I don't want to say horror, uh, but there is some horror elements to it. It's like post-apocalyptic... Thing. Apparently, it's kind of like a mix between The Division and Resident Evil, um, which is very cool. But there's also building and like harvesting, like you can build houses and stuff and bases. And for me, that's very exciting. I love that premise. So uh, we'll see how it is, and uh, maybe it's uh, maybe it'll be worth doing like. Uh, when it comes out in the full version, we'll see, maybe it'll be worth like doing like a stream server or something. Uh, for on stream, that'd be interesting. How's Redoran? I remember watching you back when you were playing Fallout 4. Redoran, I remember you. Uh, Billion Dollar Man, I'm a member, what's the perks? Uh, well, if you join my Discord, you get a special, uh, colored name, Red. You get to be in the uh, special YouTube category. Uh, and you also get to use emotes. And you get a green name and you get my recognition. And eternal thankfulness. Uh, when you have as much fun as I do, the you're watching all nice. Oh yeah, that's right, because of the time flow, yeah. The real perk is that you get told to fuck off. Uh, that's $5. Once human, is it going to be on Xbox? Um, I don't remember. Uh, but once human dot game. Oh, I have a question. I have the game. Is that the same version? Once Human? Uh, I'm not sure. This, I had to get a special ver- Actually, I don't think it's the same version. Because I had to get a special version. Like, I had to get a secret code um, to enter the closed beta. You can get the game, you can launch it, you can choose a server, but you won't be able to get into the game. It's, uh... Yeah. Uh, I don't see if it's on Xbox. No, it says pre-register on Google Play. What's well, gonna be a mobile game too? No. How the hell is that gonna work? It's got really good graphics. You guys are gonna like it. The uh, character creation is quite interesting. Hi, Nin Range again. Yo. Hi, Mystic. Um. I got a question for you. By the next solar eclipse, will you still be alive? How cool would it be if you lived a long life to see it? Yeah, apparently it's only going to be in like 20 years or something. So I, I mean, I, I assume I will be. So you never know. Boomer ties. Yo, thanks for the 10, man. Hi, Megan. I'm glad you like your Saturn games. You look beautiful in your red dress tonight. Thank you very kindly, Boomer ties. Thank you. And yeah, I love those games. They very cool. Hi, Corey. Is the dress red, orange, or brown? It looks like all three. Uh, okay, well, I wasn't going to say it, but it's actually orange. Um, what could I... Like, up to this white on the chair. Uh, it's a bit like multi-chromal or whatever you want to call it. Like, it, the way that um, 
velvet looks like velvet's shiny and it has that look you would say copper but yeah it's copper i would say it's more of a burnt burnt orange maybe looks green to you mr tasty that is a very uh clever way of letting everyone know that you're a dog um wait dogs can only see green and stuff right or is it can they only see red oh god i don't know now Oh no, character creation can be so tedious, I'll endure it. Oh, don't worry, I, I did a test already to check the character creation. Uh, I don't want to customize, I don't want to make me, I want to make something look cooler than me. Um, total solar eclipses are very rare, sometimes it takes three and a years between one total eclipse and the next one. Oh, I heard it was going to be like 20 years, that's why I thought, eh. What's that? What's literally a lie? Grand year thing? Okay. Dusty's coming here to fight you. Sometimes it takes 300 years, they said. And then Dusty just said, never! You guys want to fight? Okay. <laughs> um, looks like a dark orange on your monitor. That, that's correct then. Uh, Mr. Tasty. Yeah, no, we, we just thought that was just your thing. Yo, Steve, thank you for the 10 super chat for a cold one. Oh, hell yeah, man. Thank you. Yeah, I think so, Axel. Yeah. it. I, that's what it felt like to me. You're hard at work on tech to ensure our favorite streamer will be here to see the next eclipse. Thanks, man. Um, as long as they can uh, put your head in a jar, Futurama style, I, that's fine. That's fine for me. I, I'm, I don't need a body. Just give me a, a head with a pair of eyes and uh, the ability to play a video game and a brain. That's it. I don't give a shit. Anything else? Um... Your emotes are kind of sick. Spamming them in the chats with respect. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Glad you like them. Hi, Kali Dare Tom. Yes, dear, that's correct. It matches your lips. David, I got pink lipstick on. Well, okay, it looks a little orange, I guess. And there's a piece of lint in it, of course. Oh, interesting, Kevin. Hi, honey V. How's it going? Yeah. LOL at Rush Job, highest rated JRPG. Wait, hold on, I have to read in Bionic's voice. Highest rated JRPG since Persona 5 Royale. It's such a labor of love. It has such a reverence and respect for the OG. Okay, Bionic. Yeah, okay. I know. I know. You like the Final Fantasy. Okay, okay. It's okay. I'm coming over. I'm just going to pat you on the head. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what's your own? Do you have a criticism, Bionic, about the Final Fantasy game? I'm not the one cherry picking comments. <laughs> uh, okay, you say one thing negative about Final Fantasy. Um, whatever the fuck that went. Rebirth. And I'll believe you. Hi, Willie the Gamer. Hi, doggy dog. The lighting was bad and rebirth. Oh, I'm telling on you. I am calling Konami. It was bad. Uh, that's too bad. 
I think that the only thing they could have improved with uh, Rebirth was the graphics and performance. I liked everything else. Konami, yeah, I don't know, I just... Uh, I can never freaking say the right things! One negative thing, I can't play them all on my Kindle Fire HD. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, Fallout 4 is getting a next-gen update on the 26th of April, pretty cool! Uh, yes, that is very cool. Isn't Rebirth a Square game? It is, and that's why I am a doofus, and I said Konami. I don't know, you guys. It always comes out wrong. They had to patch that recently, the lighting thing. I saw the first patch they did, and I was not as impressed. I just thought for some reason, it's like, in previous Final Fantasy games, I feel like the frickin' faces were sharper and better defined. But in Rebirth, it was weird. It was like their potato face, you know, just... I, I don't understand, like, maybe they just need more time to fix it? Maybe they shouldn't have released it? I don't know, it's just too bad. Rebirth needs to turn RTX on. Yeah, yeah, right? RTX. Oh, Willy the Gamer, it's your birthday? Happy birthday! How old are you? 21, I bet. Um, of all the video games, what do you think of Fortnite? Uh, Fortnite's fine. It's not my thing, but it's cool. It's a cool game. Like, putty! Yeah, Beth. You think that'll fix it? No. No, no. Probably not. Oh, I heard that part three of the remix trilogy, or the re, uh, the, the Final Fantasy VII remix, why are you calling it a remix trilogy? It's gonna be absolutely bonkers. Rebirth is huge, but it's gonna be tiny in comparison to part three. I, I don't like to judge games based on size because so, there are some massive games out there that have zero substance. Remake. Okay, that's so why I was like, remix? Whoa. Hi, Kavakin. You like it? You need to get a video, video card soon? Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm gonna wait for next gen. And then I... will hopefully be upgrading a whole bunch of parts. Um, my dream computer. Uh, I've got all these wonderful parts picked out for my dream future computer. It's gonna go on my desk right here. It's gonna be... Um, it's a it's this gorgeous gorgeous fish tank Lee and Lee style case. It's white and all clear glass on the front and on the side, and it it the the side connects to the front, so it's like a full uh what degrees is that almost 180 of glass, and uh, it's a mid tower. It's real big. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna be gorgeous. You might do the 5000 series. Oh yeah. Oh, Willie, you're 46. Hey, happy birthday. Oh, I just bought Remothered for $1. I hear it's shit. Uh, Remothered? Um, did I play that one? <laughs> Thank you. Axel, thanks. The patches, both of them, did nothing! It's too bad. I think it actually did like 10%. Am I gonna restart Rebirth on PC? Maybe, I mean like, if not for stream, I, I did like the game. Could I always give Rebirth another try in a few years before part three? Yeah, I'm sure I will, yeah. Oh, weird, Steve, I didn't know that. Hi, Gamer Rim. Hi, Karamut. Hi, Tukuman. John Higtower. Hello. Hey, guys. Uh, 
Uh, wow, will it have AI? Uh, probably not. Okay, we're going to play a game, guys. Oh, I need to play through chapters four to six. If it doesn't grab you in those chapters, then fair enough. Oh, is four to six, like, really good? I think I only got to, like, chapter two. Hi, Tony Arena. Pretty sure if a chapter grabbed any of us, we'd be scared. Depends on where they grabbed you. Um. Okay, this game you guys called Once Human. I am playing in a closed beta today. Um, the developer gave me a closed beta key, so thank you, NetEase. We are gonna see what this is like. Okay, so what I did before is I chose the server. Like, I made this character just to test it, to see the game launches, obviously. Uh, and apparently your character is tied to the server. So, uh, I just made a test character, so I don't really want to do that. Uh, I want to make a new character. So I go enter game. As flies to wanton, boys are we to the gods. They kill us for their sport. King Lear, we. Uh, yo, hey, Steve. Five dollars and hoping for better Our video cards. Yeah, thank you. Followed. A long path. But eventually, all roads reach their end. Our world is broken, stagnant, fallen into the abyss. Mr. Chase, do you mean the entirety of it? But everything is born from darkness. Even the universe itself. Now, do you see it? A glimmer within the void. Oh, you have the that screen? The spark of life still burns. Yeah, you should have that screen. And Everybody evolution should, yeah. forges a new way forward. Once your faith overcomes despair, once you move beyond death, once life returns to this world, we'll meet beyond that path. This is creepy as fuck. That was really creepy. <laughs> it reminds you of Skibbity Toilet, SpaghettiO says? Yeah, it would. Okay, so I get to make a guy or a girl. Uh, type 2 for girl. <laughs> oh, they're so pretty! Okay, which one kind of could sort of be looking a little bit like me? Um, they are all a bit too cute, I think. Um, so... Is that what I look like? I have no idea. Oh, I really like her. Ooh. You can change their whole face. You can change, like, everything. Whoa. 
Nice outfit. Ooh, we're gonna make her have a giant butt and a giant boobs. Okay. Um, uh, this one, this one. I don't know. I like her. I think she's cute. Okay. So they have really gorgeous, glossy uh, skin textures and hair, and this is very pretty. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of uh, editing on them. I'm just going to make someone vaguely uh, similar to me in the way that they have brown hair and blue eyes. That's it. So let's see. Uh, brow bone. No. Okay. You can change so much stuff. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Where were her eyes? Oh, shit. Where were they? I don't think they were there. Oh, crap. Well, now I'm going to screw up her face. They are still giving out beta codes, it seems. Yeah, yeah, you can apply for them. Um, or if you're a content creator, you can go through the other route. Um, okay, so I think that... Fuck. Um, hair and makeup, that's all I want. Okay, let's give her a cute hair. Should she have a braid or a ponytail? Yeah, it asked for a code, Steve. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's the that's a special code that I had to get. You know who she looks like? Uh, Queen Tofu. Oh my god, she's so pretty. Okay, I'll be I'll be this one. Um, change her hair color to my hair color. Give her some big ass eyebrows. Intensity! Yeah. Oh yeah, give me these brown eyebrows. I don't know which ones I have. These ones? Those ones. Those. Okay, that's good. Uh, and then uh, eyeliner. Okay, we can put some makeup on her. Yeah! It does look like her. I know, right? Give it to you all at the same time. Uh, join the Discord. Oh, yeah, you have to join the Discord for the, the game, not mine. Not my Discord. Uh, she does look like her, right, Jack? Yeah, everyone agrees. Uh, I think that she's going to have to message them and be like, why did you guys steal my face? Yeah, they say right on the website that it's a closed beta. They're, they're, it's not super obvious um, when you download the launcher. So, yeah. Um, okay, so let's give her some cute eye makeup. I think I made her eyes too close together. I think that... Or no, that's just that makeup makes them look too close. Okay, these look good. You hate closed ones? Well, it's just for it's just for testing, basically. And for streamers. I'll put some blush on her. Cute lipstick. <laughs> the code didn't work. Uh, still? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. Citizen X. Um, looks like an Asian version of me. Uh, oh, really? I'm not very good at telling fucking anything. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not that white. I don't know where I am, like, around this... Good enough. That's cute. Do you have another code? No. I don't. Um, I was going to try to get, I, I mean, I tried to get some, uh, but uh, they didn't give me any, any extra ones. And if I do get an extra one, it'll be to give to another streamer to play with me. 
Um, I don't know if she needs this. I think that's kind of cool. This is very Death Stranding-y. To put that on her eye. I'm gonna put that on there. I hope they do push this, push this to console after the CBT. Uh, what is CBT? Closed beta T? Buddy! Okay. Uh, height? Make her huge! Fitness. Make her chubby! That's me. Closed beta test. Closed beta test! Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so... Head size. Huge. What? Your head can not be... I'm gonna make a huge head. Okay, neck length. Whoa, not a giraffe. No, thickness, shoulder thickness. Oh yeah, I'm huge. I got sh big shoulders. This is so yucky, this stuff in her back. That's so gross. Ouch, I bet that it feels very uncomfortable. Her waist. Uh, waist width? Oh, good lord, no. Waist thickness. Um, I don't know. I'm like that. Abdominal size? That's me. There. You get another code 1k for... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll try, I'll try. They probably won't give it to me, though. Um, alright. So, hip, pelvic width. Huge! There's a pawn called Geralt. That's Witcher, right? Yeah, Natasha! Pump up the balloons. I will, I will. Um, hip thickness. Where is that? Oh, what? Yeah, give me the big one. Give me the big one! Uh, hip size. Woo! Huge! Wait, that's her butt. Hey! Hold on. Okay. Okay, huge! Um, looks like one of the characters from Stellar Blade. Yes, yes, kinda. Hi, Kevin. Chest. If it was Stellar Blade, her ass would be jiggling just standing. There's none of that. Yeah! Whoa! 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 <laughs> oh no! I wish. Arms and legs! Uh, okay, I have thick, thick arms, yeah. Thick forearms. Yeah, so thick. Thigh size, huge! Yeah. Calf size, huge! I think the most, like, average... Like, I got thigh size 100, calf size 100. This is, she's, like, quite normal looking. <laughs> uh, body paint, okay. Um, tattoos... Nah. Nah. Yeah, more to love body, yeah. She's cute. Yeah, I did all that. Overall height, fitness. I can make her skinnier, but she looks weird. I like I like her like I like her thick, you know, a little thick. Uh, I just wish her head could be a little bigger, because it... Oh, head size. Bigger. Her head still looks small for her body. Um, okay, so hair and makeup. I did that. Uh, are you guys happy with her hair, or should I have, like, cute little, like, braids, or... Uh, I like the ponytail, but I mean, the braid is also really cute, too. Mmm. I think I might have to go with that braid. Um, okay, face... 
I like her face. Hair tied. Oh, what's this? Hair down. Look at. <gasps> what the? That's creepy. That's really fucking creepy. Don't look at me. Okay, now look at me. Ah! Don't look at me. Uh, don't look at me like that. Okay. I think it's time to start. Yes. Okay, that's my character. Aw, oh, she's cute. Hi, Christopher. Good day. There's no camel toe, you fucking weirdos. Okay, that's my thingy here is, uh, I don't know. I want this eye symbol. And my name is going to be randomized. These are actually really terrible names, but Utuendum. No, my name is On Quinson. Cat Katonki. That's my name. Katonki. Liquid nitrogen, negative one hundred and ninety-five point seventy-nine Celsius. That's me. Or brain function not detected. Subject status. Oh, there's screen tearing. I have to turn on V-Sync. still stuck in the sheath. Inspection 481 complete. Requesting a higher power outlay for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. Uh-oh. Security breach. Security breach! What did that to the man? V-fib. Did you see the extra? I was like, someone's gonna point that out. F to remove. Take activator. Ooh, let me see if check if these things on. sank off. Let's put that on. And motion burr off. Oh, that's better. Uh, shift sprint. Emergency kit. Okay, I'll take all that. Subject is an adult human, race, something, gender, whatever, identity. Um, hmm. Are they talking about me? I'm subject. Oh, explore the lab and find the password. The access code for Chrono Cage experiment must be changed daily. 0728. Be informed. Okay, 0728. Consume food and drink to increase your hydration and energy and hydration. Okay, I see my uh, health at the bottom. There's a stomach symbol, so I need to eat food. And that should fill that one up. Yeah, it did. Okay, and then hydration. I should press number five to drink that drink. Another one. 
Okay. Alright, now what? Um, I gotta open some door. Okay. When do I get a gun? What is that? Pretty good looking game. Zero seven two eight. Whoa, look at this. Uh <laughs> Tab to use wheel. Oh, navigation wheel unlocks one. Hey, what the fuck? This gets to be some control shit here. Intact cradle was recovered. The cradle has been placed in a separate room for safekeeping. Okay, we gotta find out what a cradle is. Okay, so my backpack... Ooh, inventory. Why is Megan playing a game where the player doesn't have clothes on? She just woke up from stasis. We'll get some clothes. Megan, make her clap it. No, she can't! Uh, okay, so it said open your inventory. What's that picture right there? <laughs> Sanity gummy. A placebo that contains sugar to balance its bitter taste. Calling it candy is just a bitter joke. Activator. Find the access card and enter the research lab to obtain cradle. Okay, so let's go find a cradle. Um, yeah, this looks really... Look at the boxes floating. This is very much like a control. Physics test? Maybe. It's a backpack? Hey, that's like Death Stranding. Wait, where did I go? What? What the hell? Communicate with the mysterious bird shaped HP? What? Uh, Huggin? Well, it's good to see another face. I thought I was on my own. And you're a metahuman, too. Oh, uh, a metahuman? I don't know who you are, but I know what you are. You awakened the cradle, and that's something only a metahuman could do. Do you remember who you are? No. It must have been that fluctuation just now. It trapped me in the cradle. It could have robbed you of your memories. You can call me V. It seems that our interests are aligned, Metahuman. But you're a bird? True. I used to be like you once. A Metahuman. But it's a long story, and now is not the time. Where are we? This place is called a monolith. Rosetta uses this place to secure deviations and perform experiments on them. I wasn't expecting this many deviants, though. Hi, Jensei. Why are you here? I came to secure a deviation, a paper butterfly. But I think something must have scared it. Right now, though, we need to move. I can show you the way out of this place. But only if you help me complete my mission first. All you have to do is listen to what I tell you. Okay. Explore the monolith interior. Optional press Q to use space time to search for items in the monolith.
What happens if I press Q? Activate space time, scan for hidden objects, and tag collectibles. Yes, you can equip two ranged weapons and one melee weapon at once. Use shortcut keys to switch between weapons. Oh, yeah. Can I destroy stuff? Heavy attack. H to holster. Okay, so I did the snap thing, so it scans, and then it gives you these waypoints. Uh, wait, I'm probably gonna have to kill that. Oh yeah, what the fuck is that? A watcher. Our world has been overrun with deviants ever since Starfall. Deviants can't take high When they do, they end up just like. But you're a metahuman. You should be fine. In fact, if the conditions are right. You might even be able to use Stardust to your advantage. Oh, I wonder. Yeah. Ironically, the girl, the bird is called V. Yeah, I saw that. Ooh, a hat. Uh, it just, she puts a hat on automatically. Okay, hold on. I'm going to change the graphics because it looks like when you go to attack, it um, has a little bit of a stutter. So let me just apply. Let me just start. Restart fucking settings. Oh, no. No. Oh. I'm not restarting. What's with those fucking portals? The snake? What snake? <laughs> Thank you. I wish this were the controller. Hey, Louis! Oh, Louise, thank you for the 10 super chat. Uh, for some killing hell, yeah! Thanks, Louis. Dale, hey. N is flashlight. Thanks. Uh, any findings related to it or Project Butterflies reported to blank? Uh, okay. So if I press Q, what the hell? Oh, good lord, it's actually portals. Ooh, now we're thinking with portals. <laughs> okay, that's a good idea. Anything behind this? Jump upwards or vault over obstacles. <laughs> Easy enough. Yo, Steve, thanks for the five. F for the snake. Oh, for the snake. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Uh, here's the box. Oh, I got shoes! Did she put them on? Yeah, nice. Wait, there's one more thing here. What's this? After image. Uh, wait, don't touch that yet. I have no idea what that is. Oh, um... I like this roll. That's awesome. Woo! Control, Death Stranding, Division, and Portal. And Ellen Wake. Q to use space time to investigate the area. Okay. Spatial fluctuations often cause anomalies. Past scenes to be witnessed once again. Space time to locate spatial theaters where events and people from past may reappear. Victor Hammond. Ooh. What's your name? I don't know. I just know I'm a monster. My mom, my dad, they're gone. And it was all my fault. Hey, hey. Try and stay calm. I'm here to help you. No one can help me. It would be better for everyone if I just... Just leave me alone, please. I'm afraid I can't do that. And you're not a monster. In fact, you're very, very special. You just need to learn how to control your own strength. Once you do that, you can help fix this broken world. We can do that together. What the hell? My butterfly. It's flying. Yes. Your first deviation. And look how gentle it is. I remember my name now. It's Mitsuko. It means child of light. It's my first creation. I will create more. Uh, box. We need something powerful to challenge the evolutionists. And I think I've finally found it. You, we can secure other deviations. We can use them to forge a new path. This will be the Mayfly's mission. This is why we'll fight. Some kind of angel? That's right. Mayflies. Small, yet invincible. Hmm. Yo, Junior. Assalamu alaikum. This part is straight out of control. The geometry, too. Yeah, all of the bricks and stuff? Yes. Like, literally. And also out of Nier Automata. Remember that level? Yes, it's open world. You can gather wood and ore and camp ride your motorcycle. Yeah, I love that idea. It starts out very strange. Hey, you! Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Fucking freaky ass briefcase face. I picked up his... Wait, that's a weapon? His briefcase is a weapon. That shoots money. Oh, I only have seven money left! Oh, crap. I got too excited. Oh, it didn't just come out today. It, it's been out for... The beta's been out for uh, a, at least a week. Oh, my God. Yeah, the third beta. Yeah, I, I missed the, both the other betas.
This version is different. It's just that you have to have the special code uh, to activate it. Okay, I'm controlling this. Secure the butterfly's emissary. Immune. <gasps> I got it! I don't even know what I did, but okay. Touch. Can the Steam Deck run this at 480p? <laughs> Probably. Hey, what the? Enter the house in front of you to see if it's occupied. Oh, what the hell? Now it's Fortnite. V, you're still alive. Yes, and look what I found. A meta. Only just woke up. I'm a meta. They were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free. Thank you, MetaHuman. This means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. Mitsuko. I used to be a MetaHuman as well. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. That is, until V saved me. Mitsuko is a very special Meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the Stardust. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. Um, so we're all Rosetta's test subjects? That's what Rosetta does. At first, they just locked deviations away. But then they figured out that deviations could be harnessed to make humans stronger. Bum bum. That's when they started their experiments. In the name of human progress. Creating metahumans like me and you. To Rosetta, we're the future. And they're not wrong. Metahumans are mankind's last hope. We were created by Rosetta, but we don't take orders from them anymore. We love it's thanks to Oops. her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. Wait, what's Same Starfall? Hi, Flipside. About 20 years ago. Rosetta triggered a major stardust fluctuation during one of their experiments. As a result, some great ones slipped through, entering into our world. They brought increased levels of stardust with them. That poison has seeped into every corner of our world now, spawning countless deviants and other dangers. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. Oh, okay. Uh, so the paper butterfly is the deviation you were looking for? Yes, an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. The important thing right now is to secure it. See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful and safer to be around. Ooh, we can secure the deviation. Okay. So, put the butterfly in there, I guess. Uh, interact with the secure unit and select deviation for secure. Um, okay, so facility, butterfly, deposit. The butterfly is recovered. I think it likes you. Ah, uh, it likes me. Deviant power and it has a mood? What? Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust, which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. And this is why we created the Mayflies. We make cradles and securement units to keep deviations contained. We're trying to find ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. We figure this is our best chance of cleaning up the mess that Rosetta made. 
Uh, the Mayfly is not a very flattering name. It's a name that embodies who we are. Mayflies, as a species, can survive almost anything. Even Starfall and Rosetta. We're trying to find ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. We figure this is our best chance of cleaning up the mess that Rosetta made. What's a deviation? No one's exactly sure what they are. Just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension. Something we call rift space. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Like with Starfall. Oh. Sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. And when that happens, all hell breaks loose. Oh, okay, so what are you trying to do? You trying to calm them down or what? Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly. But others, like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. It's not practical to secure all of them, of course. But if we can learn more about them, maybe we can find ways to live alongside them. That's the goal. Also, the stardust just keeps spreading, and we aren't sure why. Hmm. Uh... What was that? The siren! Shit, it must have gotten through. Come on, Meta. A deviation from another world just entered this space and it won't go down without a fight. Take the butterfly with you. It can help. Okay. I'll also get a gun. I got some sanity gummies. Okay, if I press Q, it's gonna highlight stuff in the room. Okay, so... Victor Hammett's Diary 2. Uh, Rosetta's planning something big. If the Mayflies limit our self-strike on minor targets, we'll never be able to stop them. Oh, wait, so Rosetta is like the vault tech, and then... Mayflies is like the... The Fireflies? Different franchises. Rustic jacket. Yeah. Wait. Wait. She didn't put it on. Cook. Oh. I don't have any materials. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. If I go cook here. Oh, uh, I don't have anything. Season rewards available. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, what? 144... Oh. Uh, claim? Oh, take 10 photos! Oh, okay. There's a lot of shit to do in this game, apparently. Tame a steroid. Okay. A lot of quests reward you with canned food. Oh, good. What's attach wire? Why would I do that? Unlock build features. Mm, withdraw. Can you play piano? Hey, what's that? Painted window. Window. Oh, woo! I like this house. So you're, you guys, this is a building game as well. So I can harvest rock and stone and wood and water and blah, all this stuff. And I could build this myself. This is an example of what I could build. Cause this, if that, if I could build something like this, that's nuts. Synchronized butterfly emissary to cradle. Okay. So facility. Put the butterfly in there. Is there a synchronized thing? 
interact with the isolated securement units to view details of butterfly emissary. Oh, synchronize to cradle here. Uh, it'll give me deviant something. Fatal flaw. Takes effect when player handling is thrown. Inflicts status damage on hostile target. Throws shots. What? Okay, so that I did that. Uh, what is this? Territory core. Ooh. Whoa, is that mine? Okay, uh, the eve of evolution. Logging by hand. Get log. Oh, this is Victor Hammett's territory. Oh. But I can come back here anytime I want, I guess. Uh, okay. Let's see what's over here. Gather with your bare hands. Inefficient. F. <gasps> oh, it's like a rest. Oh man, will your base be attacked? Probably. A clean cut. Where's the wood? Oh, I got wood. Okay. Hey, what's that? Copper. I don't. Am I strong enough to get copper? Oh, I am. Ooh. Okay. I gotta get some gravel. Hey, that rock's all fucky. Let's get that one. Modern version of Minecraft Citizen X? Uh, no, apparently more similar to Fallout 76, Conan, or any other sandbox game. That's what Speedglass says. Um, okay, so my draw distance is really fucking weird. Let me adjust that. I turned the graphics down earlier because I wasn't sure if that was causing the weird stutter, but now I think maybe it was just the area. Highest. Let's try that. Still that weird ass pop in uh what is that called draw distance is on high what about medium that is draw distance oh rust is a good comparison yeah that's so cool Okay, it's not V-Sync, obviously. Just checking. Um, okay, it doesn't even pause when you are in the menu. No idea. Okay, let's see. Um, corn. Find a suitable location and press T to set up camp. They couldn't fix the bug, so they incorporated incorporated it into the lore. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's that's really wrong. I might have to reset restart the game. Dirty water. Fill it up then. Um, okay, so she said she's partially thirsty, so I can press number five to drink a little bit of water. And then number four to eat a canned food. Um, I can set up camp anywhere, I guess. Uh, seems like a good place. Except for the fucking weird-ass graphical glitch. Set up camp. Oh, that's it. Okay, put that there. Use simple crafting bench and a campsite to make basic gear tools and dishes good enough for emergencies. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, boiled water. Let's make that. Make all of the boiled water. The crafting queue has limited capacity. Remember to retrieve your finished items in a timely manner. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. So that's happening behind uh, my camera here. You guys can't see it. Um, okay, can I make a dagger? No, I need wood. Weapon crafting. Oh, okay, I can make a crossbow or a torch. Armor. I can make a new hat. I can make uh, some cute pants. Okay, so I just need to find hide to hunt animals. Yeah, it looks like I need hide. Uh, for this, I just need some wood. And then for that, I also need wood and shabby fabric. Oh, that's easy enough. Crude pickaxe. Uh, I need gravel. I have some of that. So, all right. Uh, then I know exactly what I need. I need to break some wood. In survival campsite, make a rough pickaxe. Then make a rustic crossbow and then make arrows. Okay, I'll do that. Well, it's not like rust in the way that uh, PvP is ma is uh, mandatory. Oh my god. Oh, wait a second. Is that why the graphics are all weird? It's because there's this weird-ass fucking, like... Oh. Oh, I, I think it's like I'm in a tutorial imaginary zone. That's why it's all weird. Sure. game called uh, Almost Human? Almost Human? Once Human. Fuck! Once Human. So generic he forgot immediately. Uh, I've forgotten for days. Uh, okay, so craft with bare hands, make a pickaxe. He wants me to make that. Ten seconds for that. Then I gotta make, uh, the rustic crossbow. Equip a gathering tool before you start collecting resources. It's faster than doing it barehanded. Okay. I got this. Primary weapon, yes. And then let's make some arrows and go shoot stuff. Oh, I need a little bit more wood. Okay. So wait, the pickaxe is only for rock, I guess. I hope you're not sponsored, Meg. You can't get the name of the game right. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I... No. <laughs> I legally have to tell you very clearly if I'm sponsored. <laughs> Oh, you get quite a bit of wood from a tree when you use the axe. Okay. Make arrows! What would Log think? For God's sakes, I'm never gonna... Never gonna live that down, will I? Crack down attacking deviants. Okay. Um... Yeah, I gotta figure out what graphical setting is causing this thing. I don't know what the hell. You don't even know what that's from? Well, you were not uh, in the Dragon's Dogma, so you're missing out on that piece of lore. Bites. Hey, an airplane. What is causing that?
Well, I needed that satellite dish. Oh no! Oh, I can shoot it in the thingy. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot it right in the dick. Summon the butterfly. It will fight alongside you. Call out the roulette wheel and now select butterflies. Emissary weak capable. spot marking. Summon V survival camera. How do I summon the fucking butterfly? It said you press E. Go into photo mode again. I'm just trying to figure out what button it was to summon the freaking butterfly. That's V. Cradle? No. I'll just kill it then. Hi, Desanga. Who the fuck is shooting me? Control and secure deviation that appear in front of you. Okay, I did. Woo! Festering gel. Ew. Oh, you were playing part two of Plague Tale? You should have kept playing. It's pretty sick. I know, it was really good. I just, I got so sick of it. I know, it was a gorgeous game. Do I put the butterfly away when I'm done with it, or what? Click to sync your combative deviation with your cradle. You can only do this when deviation is awake. escaped. Just driving it away was enough. And it's all thanks to you, Meta. You're tougher than you look. That's twice now you've saved me. It's like I said, we think deviations are sometimes capable of passing between the physical world and rift space. It could be wreaking havoc in the physical world right now, even as we speak. You're tougher than you look. That's twice now you've saved me. What do you mean where to go the physical world? We're not in the physical world yes. right now? Mitsuko created this rift space. Mm. A refuge from the dangers. That's of why the it's all world. fucky graphically. It's Do a you rift think space. That deviation will come back? It's possible. We just can't sit here and wait though. Meta, will you go back to the physical world with me? Uh, I have no choice. There is, it seems, no alternative. Are you coming to Mitsuko? Mitsuko is too important. Oh. The Great Ones would descend on her the second she set foot in the physical world. We I'm not. Risk it. <laughs> Will you go back to the physical world with me? Not good, to be honest. Since Starfall, it's been 20 years of chaos. But you've got a cradle, and I'll be there to help guide you. Together, we'll be fine. Meta, will you go back to the physical world with me? Take the butterfly with you. Put it in your cradle. That way, I can lend you some of my strength. Hopefully, we'll meet again one day. It looks like this is goodbye. Before you go, if you have any questions, I can try and answer them for so you. So instead of the back, instead of the death stranding baby, it's a it's a backpack. 
And I got no pants on. Uh, I already asked these questions. Uh, I don't have any more questions. I'm ready to go. I mean, the butterfly is already in my backpack. Or wait, no, it is now. Hold on, I have to take this out again. Okay. Wait, it's not in my backpack anymore. Oh, press tab and select the camera. Take a photo of Mitsuko as a farewell keepsake. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I will. Yeah, do something cute. Is that refill? No. I like this house that someone built, but I'm ready to go to the real world. Uh, I don't want to go to the real world. Do the game let you choose your height as well? Oh, yes. That's why I chose the big character. Big girl. Uh, oh, it is like Fortnite. What the? Look at that. 20 years after Starfall, and the world is still infested with Stardust. It looks like the Monoliths here have been reactivated too. They might hold the key to all this, oh. all this pollution. Okay, I see world chat now. I see uh, I see multiplayer chat in the bottom left-hand corner. You guys can't see it. it's behind my camera, but trust me, it's there. Oh, people are talking in the game. Okay, uh, find a suitable location and press B to place territory terminal. Okay, um... That pink line, maybe? Wow. Woo! No. <laughs> um... Now that we've made it, let's set up a territory. Hey, there's enemies. Yes, okay. Is this a territory terminal? What is this? Hello, beginner. Oh, it's even like, uh... It's even like, uh, Death Stranding and that you can place little messages for each other. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so there's some enemies there, and there's someone at the thing. Oh, fluff, thirsty. Okay, drink the thingy. There you go. Drink more. Okay, B to place a territory. I don't think I should place it there, though. Okay, look for a mystical crate, find a weapon and gear crate. Ripple in space-time detected. Okay, let me read this one. Check out my vending machine. You put a vending machine here? Okay. Oh, to my left. Oh, I don't know which way that's facing. Um, what's this? That area is not suitable. I am shielding your innocent eyes. Hmm. 
Mm, this looks like it could be a nice area, although that looks like somebody's place. Let me just investigate this. I think that's someone's place right there. Ah, uh, it is, yeah. Uh, okay, what does this say? Hello, neighbors. Okay. Okay, well, I won't build right next to that person. Um, that's somebody's place, too. Okay, there's a lot of people here. I'm not really sure how big your place is gonna be, so I don't know, um... Honestly, the best place to put it. I'll take this little bridge. I wonder if the person built that bridge. Seems safe enough. Hey, that's a nice base right there. See, look. Okay. That's a base. Uh, why don't I put my base on these rocks? That's someone's base there, too. Okay, I'll go here. <gasps> is that someone's house? Oh my god, that's beautiful. Okay, this is blue, so yes, I'll put my shit right here. Uh, and I want to rotate it. I want to be on top of this stuff. Nice work. I've managed to unlock some memetics from Mitsuko. If you access them through your cradle, you'll be able to craft and build what we need. Copy building part, demolish. Okay, tab to call out the function wheel and select cradle to enter mimetic cradle, mimetic screen. And go here. And then what do I do? Various kinds of building and item formulas can be learned from mimetic nodes. Click on a node to, okay. Disassembly techniques or smelting. I want to learn disassembly. It's going to cost one of those cipher points. And how many cipher points do I have? I have nine. Okay. Uh, smelting. I'll get that one too, obviously. Even with mimetics, you still won't be able to craft anything out of thin air. We better gather some ore and logs. Mmm. Are the male characters hanging around as well in Speedos? Yes, they are. Crafting. Okay, I want to make essential tools. Yes. Uh, and I definitely need a gear workbench. Um... Copper arrow, gunpowder. I think essential is just the most basic stuff that I need. Uh, what is this one? Managing stoves, rainwater collection system, crafting wood supports. Oh, shit. Probably gonna have to get this. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. So, okay, I can build a house. I can build a house. Izzy's gaming, yo. What does this button do? Mimetics Mastery. Okay, I don't have- oh, I do have copper, fuck. Um... Okay, so instead of spending all my points, let me just see... What that says. Gather gravel, gather copper, obtain a rough pickaxe. Oh, and I still have it from before, okay. So, is this the kind of one where you can just, like, dig in anywhere? No, you have to find rocks. Okay, uh, don't fall. Actually, wait, hold on, I can do a glide. Yeah! That's what freaking games need. Every game needs that. Okay, let's bust some rocks up. Okay, so I'm into something called World 7. It's safe. I got an 80 millisecond ping. It's 1 a.m. in the server. Uh, I need five copper, so where would I find copper? 
Also, we need to fight the enemies. Also, who built this wall? Is that somebody's house? That's, if so, that's crazy. Hey, berries! This is copper? Yeah. We'll also need a furnace and a disassembly bench to process the materials we gather. And there are other people, you guys, in this world, other real players that you can play with and um, do stuff with. I just, we haven't seen any yet, so I don't know how that's going to work. There was something here. Banana tree. Oh, I'm going to cut down the banana. And I cut down this tree too. A cypress tree? Oh, no. I shouldn't have cut down the banana tree. This is its wicked's territory. I will help myself to their berries. Okay, so I assume you can go into people's bases and like not get attacked. I assume that's the case. Because it's PvE. Oh, a haven from perils and the blah blah. What'd that say? Is that people talking in the game? Oh my god, you can hear voice chat in the game. I uh, just realized that I need to check that. Voice chat. Chat mode key. Listen chat. Oh, I can turn it off. Okay. Nearby or team. Oh, that's interesting. I'll keep it on nearby. Designated key. Um, task. Oh, that's a talk. Uh, chat. Voice chat F5. Hello. Hello? Hello. Hello. How are you? Hey, good. I have. I don't know where you are. I just realized that there was proximity chat in this. Hello. <laughs> we must be neighbors. Yeah. I'm over here by um, this campfire. Okay, I'm sure I'll come across you. Uh. What's your name? I'm Megan. What's your name? What's your name? Oh, now they're shy. You heard me? Oh, I heard you. I didn't hear your name. But I heard you just say that. Where are you? Uh, I'm right here by this bridge. I'm right here by uh, like a campfire in a bridge. I have no idea where that is, but that's okay. Uh, what's your name? My name is... Doesn't have to be your real name. Tunstan? My name is Tustin. I didn't hear that. Justin? Tustin. Tustin. Tungsten. Oh, Tungsten. Yeah. Cool. Your name Ari? No, Megan. Uh, oh, I don't know what I named my character in this game. Hold on, I gotta check. Katonki. I named my guy Katonki. Oh, I don't see. I don't see the name. I thought this was your like little post right here. No, I have no idea even where you are and how far 
the proximity chat works. Is were you talking to somebody else? I heard two voices. Oh, yeah, I'm in the background. This is my brother. Oh, the, you're There's in the same me. room. Oh, okay. I thought you were in like another person in the game. Early bag that was talking stuff early. Cool, cool. I'm just I'm just getting started, so I'm just trying to figure some random stuff out and plant my base up. Oh, I think I see you. You got your light on? Yes, but I'm standing on a platform jumping right now. That might be me with the light on. Oh, cool. I thought I I, I thought I saw a light, but I got worried it was a monster. Hey. Is you right here? Dad, this is me. Okay, not a monster. Oh, there's somebody else. Yeah, you can leave someone else. I was surprised when I heard two voices. <laughs> I can barely hear you though, but just you can barely hear me. Huh? Yeah, it must be proximity. So if you are further away, uh, that's cool. He's right beside me. That's why. I, oh, weird. I can hear you. I'm right here by somebody else too. What audio device am I using? Yeah, your both your voices are very loud compared to mine, I think. Oh, I hear both of you guys very uh, clear. Oh, I can hear you kind of like, but I can, the other girl, um, I can hear you real good. The one I'm close by, I can barely hear her. How the hell do you freaking? I got to build a furnace. Structures, decor. Mmm. Copy building part. Where the fuck do you go? I'm gonna add you. Oh, oh here. Mind. Furniture, structures. Uh, functional? No. <gasps> Supplies work bench. I need that. Uh, yeah. Is there a map POI you can use? I don't know. What's POI? Let's call him Guy. Okay, now what do I do? Uh, I build a furnace. It's said to build a furnace. Oh, I can build a disassembly bench? No, I can't. Furnace! There it is! Okay. Which way does that face? This? Use the furnace to refine raw materials into something more practical. We'll need it for advanced items. Uh... Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, so don't press R to demolish it. Oh my god. That was close. Uh, how do I put the tool away? How do I get out of uh, building mode? Uh, escape. Okay. So, it wants me now to fire charcoal in the furnace. Charcoal. Let's make... 10. Okay, it's going! Point of interest to meet up with the other person. Oh! That's interesting. No, I didn't see anything like that. Okay, I made charcoal so I can make copper ingot now. No, I need to put charcoal in there. Oh, it has charcoal. Okay, so how many can I make? Ten! Oh, yeah. No, I... If they start saying anything, I... That's when I tell them I'm streaming. I just... Sometimes when you tell people you're streaming too early, then they'll start saying the weird shit. Um, but they're not really talking, so it's not a big deal. I'm creating copper ingots right now. Very good. Um, melting copper ingot, 4 out of 10. Okay, so I need that. Craft on supplies workbench. Food pickaxe. Already made that. What's this? Whisper? Used to drop or check a note. Oh, I want to make one! Yeah, I've seen those. I want to make one. Okay, I got that. Oh. Hold on. 
Crap. Uh, I did everything. Okay, press B in the territory. Build the disassembly bench. Okay, why does this bird want to talk to me right now? Open the journey interface. Did I manage to get multiple beta keys? No. Unfortunately. Build a disassembly bench. Architect. Okay, I can do that. This is just like the path of shit you gotta do. Craft a copper pickaxe to get techie. Oh, so this will just help you do all the stuff. Uh, like the route you wanna go. Um... And you press B. Oh, you repair by clicking stuff. Okay. I keep fucking... Oh, there. It's right click. Um, I need to make a deconstruction bench, it said. This one? Okay. Maybe, uh, just... There. Nice. This <laughs> is a strong foundation for us to build upon. Okay. I've set up a journey interface to help track our progress. For J for complete, journey. Oh, we'll yeah. Some supplies we can use. So far, what we've got won't do much against those deviants out there. We okay. need proper weapons and armor. There are some abandoned Rosetta facilities nearby. Maybe we could find some useful supply crates there. Oh, okay, so, okay. On your map. I have to go uh, looking for loot to craft better weapons, and then I can go to this monolith ruin to search for supplies, or do I have to go there first? Uh, I guess we'll just make our way there. That is uh, very interesting. I like where this is going so far. Um, okay, so do I need to put the butterfly in there or what? Facility? Wait, I have two butterflies? Uh-oh. I don't know how I got two, but I got two. This is such a massive game. It obviously wants you to have a like, large group to team up with, like Blood and Bone with its battles. Uh, oh, Blood and Bone. I would like to make a pickaxe made of uh, copper, but I think to do that one, um... Okay, you have to... Fuck, where did you go to that again? Uh, to spend your points. Um... Yeah! Uh, memetics here. Yeah, okay, I can make a copper pickaxe if I spend two of these points. I'll do that. Um, gear workbench? This will make this one, um... <gasps> I get a gun! Okay, I make the gear workbench. Yeah, I make that. Skull and bones. Oh, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Furnace and skill points unlock. Mystic, I think I'm gonna like this game. Lots of stuff to do. Can you play in a group or a single player? Uh, no, it's completely uh, play with whoever you want, single or in a group. And also there's PvP and PvE servers. According to what I read. Okay, so if I want to build that workbench, then... Um Oh, I'm gonna need some materials. Shit. How to get craft gear- craft on gear workbench. Okay, crap. To get a gun, I'm gonna need some freaking other ingredients. I should learn how to make a stove. That's my last cipher. No, one- one more. Rainwater collection. I already got wood supports, right? Yeah. All right, the new thing I got was a weapon or something? I said I could make a bat. Mm. Oh wait, I have throwing daggers in there right now? Give me those. Oh, 
PvP is also like Fallout 76, it's two party must agree method. Oh yeah, it's like Skull and Bones where you have to agree if you want to do PvP in a PvE server. Very smart. You apparently both go like berserky or something. Hi Ben. Hi JC Garrett, what do you mean as? Um, okay, so what I have to do now is I need to make sure I have ammo. So how many ammo do I have? Oh, I have 36? 35. So I'll make some more of those if I can. Arrow. I have no idea how many I'm gonna need. I'll just make that amount. Um... Go to Monolith Ruin to search for supplies. Okay, that's where we're going now. And I'll try to get some stuff that... Oh wait, I can make a copper... It told me I can make a copper pickaxe, right? I, I unlocked that ability, or that recipe, right? So is it not in here? Crude pickaxe... No... Is it in here? Copper, glass, charcoal... Where do you make... Adds a tool you have in that cabinet. Ads. Oh, ads. Oh. You can avoid ads with a subscription, wink wink. I'm trying to identify an ads on there. I don't know what that is. Is that like ad Z? Like A -ad A D Z E? It's like a thing you like balance stuff on and smack it with a metal thing? <laughs> I don't know. So how do I get that frickin' thing? Um... Okay, what if I go... Summon V, Survival Manual... Cradle... Hopper Pickaxe! You can make your first tentative steps to the wilderness. Um... Furnace... Copper... Charcoal... Glass, okay. And then copper pickaxe is right there. So where is the freaking recipe for it when I go to the furnace? Right? It should be I go to the furnace and make a copper pickaxe, but it's not one of the choices. Mm, maybe I'll make some more charcoal first. Maybe he just wants some of that. <clears throat> maybe he likes charcoal. Adds is a tool similar to an axe with an arched blade at right angles to the handle used for cutting or shaping large pieces of wood. Oh. I'm making some copper right now. Okay, so I thought for some reason, like, maybe if I made copper ingots and put them in my inventory that somehow the copper pickaxe would show up, but it doesn't. And it wasn't a bronze pickaxe, it was copper, right? Hmm. I don't know, okay. Uh, oh look a deer! Free! Hey, can I get my arrow back? Eclipse deer. I got a gummy out of it. <laughs> what? He had a gummy bear in his tummy? Oh, I'm gonna kill a Bambi. Hey, wait, why does that have that name? Eclipse Fawn. What, what was that? Does it say pickaxe that shows in our picture of a normal axe? Mmm. <laughs> what is this? Um, it showed axe. What's this? Can I harvest garbage? Can I go under this rock? <laughs> okay, let's go fight some of these assholes. Ah, oh, there he is. Okay. Hey! Okay, so they're very weak in this area. Good. But where do you harvest their bodies? Also, how do I get the apples? Apple tree? No, don't cut it down! I just want to get the apples. I 
There's no way you have to cut down the apple tree in order to get the apples. Let's find out. That was horrible. Hey, there's a person! A real person. I should have yelled at them. Okay, there's the baddie. Oh, he blows up. So can you harvest shit from them or not? Ooh! Do they all blow or what? I can't tell. No. Decently quick reload speed for a crossbow. Oh, you're jumpy, aren't you? What is this? Oh, wait, this guy has an item. Charred maniac had. This is fucking creepy. My ninja. Who the fuck said that? <laughs> Who said that? My God, you're right, Ka. Fuck. Okay. Uh, oh, I can make food here. Look, roasted corn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, the game has the Mons pubis in all its glory. Yes, it does. It's good that you said that, Ka, because I was about to say that out loud to back to him and say, what the fuck does that mean? And then I realized. And I opened that door now. Both crates across this wood ramp. Okay. Oh yeah, no, no, I know. I know, I know now. <laughs> There's a lot of materials to grab here. Look, loot at the tippity top. <gasps> a double barrel shotgun. But no bullets. A blast suit. Holy shit. And what is the tippity top? What do they mean by the tippity? This? Oh, here. Top of the world. <laughs> okay. 
So that person has a motorcycle. I'll save him so that bad guy doesn't hit a motorcycle. Oh, I can't even hit him. I'm terrible. <laughs> so I didn't see any loot at the tippity top. I don't know what the hell they were talking about. But it said ripple in a space time. Oh, you can grab from all the way in there. I don't fucking like these zombies. You can also hide clothing and armor in the gear select menu if that's your thing. This isn't that kind of stream, JC Greer says. Ah. Uh... Wait, you can go totally naked in this game? It was the guy the two time? Oh, the tippity top, yeah. Uh... I wonder if Doc will play this. Probably not. I got a jack. Why is it playing the scary music now? Is it because of that guy? Hey! Oh no! How do they disappear out of nowhere? I have no idea what all these creepy fucking noises are. In most cases, you get your arrows back. Bunker key. Uh, he's telling me about a bunker key somewhere? I don't know what the fuck that means. I need to find one more weapon and gear crate uh, for this Explore Throughville. This place called Throughville? Ugh, I know. <laughs> okay, what are you guys doing there? Get the fuck out of here! Clicking heads. Is that a gear I, a gearbox? I thought I saw one. What was that? Oh, the freezer explodes and it freezes you. So there was a monster inside that bridge. Okay. Oh, right. If you press Q, you can highlight items and stuff. I forgot about that. There's a lot to learn in this game. I'm picking up so much crap. crap. that corn. So it just gives you like random constant items to oh here's a box I need that's what I need. Um please don't shoot my refrigerator Foxy says. I don't know why I don't even know why the fridge attacked me and what 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 like what was that thing doing in there? 
Hands up, motherfucker. I wasn't gonna say it, also the fridge from Cowboy Bebop, the fridge from Control. Wait a minute, I don't remember that. Oh, like, um, Prey, Prey. Prey had the freaking objects that could turn into any enemy ever. Sorry there, farmer. Hey! What's he doing? Does he have a name? No. What a nice environment they made. I mean, it, oh, the water too. Can you swim? <gasps> oh, nice. Contaminated water. Oops. Okay, I like how the zombies are pretty dumb. I mean, so far. Yeah, the graphics are really nice, I agree. Corn. What was that sound? Was it because I picked up the potato? The fucking game scares the shit out of me when I'm doing just random innocuous actions. Picking up potato, for instance. Okay, no crazy noise. Who did that noise? Oh, this? Control? Uh, oh. Wait, this uses the butterfly power for something. I have no idea what that does. I can just have all of that garbage? Thanks. Is that guy in here? Oh, gunpowder? Oh, good. I did see that there is a uh, sulfur to harvest, so you can definitely make the gunpowder. <gasps> What the hell is this? Is that a telephone or a banana? Rift anchor. Well, the symbol looked interesting. He was riding around on a motorcycle over here. Um. Oh, it's like Walking Dead. I guess so. I thought that guy, another player, Control had the vending machine, um... Control had a vending machine, but so did Atomic Heart. A very creepy vending machine. Is the circle on a map a storm circle? I don't know. Did I watch any more episodes of Fallout? No. Not yet. Uh, what do you think so far? I think so far it's very interesting. One thing I would like to do, though, is press inventory and see how much weight I'm carrying. Oh, I can carry a lot, apparently. Um, and also, I got an outfit gear. You can modify it. Uh, gear? 
Oh, so she can just be in her uh, underwear. Uh, this is better. Can I put both on? Hi, A at 12. The screaming Hogwarts spuds. I have no idea what the hell that was. I want this one. Put that on. But it's showing. Okay, no. So that one's equipped. Yes. Um. Okay. Okay, I've got all this stuff equipped. Uh, but I don't really want to show this. I want to modify it so that it doesn't look like that. I want my normal outfit. Uh, what does this even do? 140 um, protection. Okay. Stamina consumption reduced by 30. Oh, this has better gathering speed. Okay. And I've got that and that. I don't have a pistol yet. Complete journey. Did I complete a journey? No. Okay. What the hell is this, though? What do you do with this? Just this activated, that's all. Okay. I need all the corn. Uh, the journey for pants is just beginning. <laughs> so these guys don't have any loot. They're just, I'm just getting my arrows back from them. I'm just going to this monolith ruin over here. Can I harvest that? What is that? Scarlet Calamoo. What do you do with a Scarlet Car Calamoo? My house. Uh, I don't see a house anywhere. Ooh, mangrove. Oh, there's a good variety in this. Whose house is this? A harpoon gun? Hi, Amaris Live. What if that was a player character and they were just trying to say hi? I need to find Rosetta supply boxes in the area. Collection of six discarded items in the area. Okay. Is that discarded? That's a nice house there. Oh, my character is quite thirsty. I'm gonna make them drink some boiled water and eat some canned whatever. Hi, Shiradity. Amaris says this game is like State of Decay 2. I never played that, but I am seeing the uh, the appeal. I mean, I really like the division. I, I I did like the division. Um, but it could have had building your house in it, which would have been really cool. Lose my pants? No, I never start with pants to begin with. We don't need pants here. All we need is a toilet. Maybe. And not even.
Find Rosetta Supplies boxes in the area. Okay, there should be one over here. Do my little snap thing. Hey, those look like those might blow up if I shoot them. Hold on. That's weird. Where did that go after I shot it? What's this guy doing? Stop that! Oh, pliers! I need those for something. Hey, look, one of these. What? Chest on top. Oh. Hi, hollow one. Oh, I got a new weapon. Um. I'll replace this because I don't have any. Oh, or maybe not. Did I not get a harpoon gun? Mm, no harpoon gun? I swear, I swear I found one. This, harpoon, materials. Oh, disassemble. Uh, launcher also disassemble? Oh, of course it's not going to give you a freaking... It's not going to give you a harpoon launcher this early. Okay, so that little note said go on the roof. I will. Open this box to the ghost message reminding you of Death Stranding. Keep on keeping on. Yeah, I like that. How would I get on the roof? So many notes up here. What does this one say? Enjoy the loot. Enjoy the loot. Okay. Is it good loot? Hi, Megan Tron, please. A jump rope and some shabby fabric. Okay, I'm leaving a note here too. You're cute. Oh, that's very cute. I would like it if you could upvote them. Oh, you can! Okay. Oh, 360 upvotes already. I agree. How did they know? Oh, they know. Okay, season rewards available. Uh, what is this big number? I gotta take eight more photos. Okay, I, I thought it said something was available. Um, investigate the entrance to Monolith Ruin. Okay, it's right here. What the fuck is that? I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> it's not for shooting. Hey, is this a real person? No, that's an NPC. Mary, don't do that. I think I'm safe standing right next to her. Um, I gotta go to the washroom. I just wanna not have this open while I'm gone. Okay, uh, just in case, uh, I'll be right back guys. I just need to use the washroom, grab a drink and fix my hair. Oh, wrong one. Here we.
Thanks for waiting, guys. I'm back. Oh, I left you here in the silence and in the dark. What snack will Megan have? I brought beer. The best snack there is. But I also have to drink. Mm, I got some other stuff to drink, too. Uh, okay, I'll have a little bit of Monster. And then I'll have a little bit of beer. Not mixed together, because that's yucky. I have done that once. It was not good. Uh, thank you for the welcome, guys. A little bit of monster. Here's not a snack. Here's a coping mechanism. I mean, what? <laughs> oh, no, you're right. When will you drink Tang? Never. Is it Tang just fucking sugar crystals? Yeah. My character didn't even get hungry or thirsty standing here. Okay, let's talk to this Mary. Get your hands off my stuff. Uh, I didn't see your name on it, bitch. You're pretty cocky for someone who doesn't even have a weapon. Hold on. Is that a cradle on your back? Interesting. I thought I was the only mayfly left. Since we're both mayflies, what's your name? I'm Mary. I came here to investigate a deviation that's been causing issues. I think it's connected to a recently reopened monolith nearby. <clears throat> I've been chasing a deviation too. Don't tell me you're going to try and take on a powerful deviation barehanded. Even an ordinary deviant could tear you apart right now. For a mayfly, you're pretty inexperienced, aren't you? I'm going to give you a blueprint. Use it to make yourself a gun. While you're doing that, I have other matters to attend to. Once you're done, come find me in Deadsville. It's the nearest survivor settlement. We can plan our next steps from there. After all, two heads are better than one. Sure. Old Huntsman BP, a blueprint so to make. Mayfly survived, yet I can't remember her. Oh. My memory's been patchy ever since Matsuko revived me. Just to be safe, it's better not to share everything we know with that woman, especially about Matsuko. That okay. blueprint is rock solid, though. We can use it to make a real gun. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Let's real. Check and start by building a gear workbench. What's all this stuff? Delicious turkey for free if you know the magic words. What? Riddle spot. Treasure ahead. This? What did I get? I don't know what that was. Look up. Oh, okay. Oh, so you have to touch those things and then a box appears. That's some good shit. I want to put down one of those notes. Add a title to get more views. Uh, touch both purple things. Grab the first one in front of you and then climb up that uh scaffold on 
and jump to grab the next one. Okay. Uh, you can put a picture there too. Oh my god. Oh, whisper posted takes a while for it to appear. Okay. You, uh, I'm gonna write that. <laughs> Okay, it wants me to go back to my uh, area now. That's easy. I just run there. But I kind of want to, like, find out what the fuck Ripple and Space Time nearby means. I can't go in this place, I guess. Oh, but I can break a rock for no reason. Hi, Richman. Hopefully at night we see some volatiles. No, there's no vol- there's there? Oh, I shot the deer, not the man. Okay. Hey, Burnaby, thanks for the five super chat. Winner, winner, MRE dinner. <laughs> that is the best thing my character is gonna be eating, I'm sure. Or roasted corn on the cob, I forgot. Oh, I already got that. Thanks, Burnaby. Wesley says, I like the look of this game. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of impressed. How did the caps work out for the keyboard? Oh, I'll show you really, really well. They fit on my pink keyboard so well. Look at how brand. Uh, this keyboard looks brand new. Check this out. It looks rainbow. These used to have pink keys, and now it has white with see-through pudding caps on. Gorgeous. Was that Rick's cat? Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, they worked great. So now my both my keyboards are kind of matching. Hi, Ashley. Hey, he has a motorcycle. Okay. I'm gonna take some of this copper here. Hi, Turkey. Yeah, the game's got a bit of jankiness to it, but it's not, uh, doesn't really detract from the yeah, other weird shit going on, like whatever the fuck this deer is doing, I don't know. I think I need a lot of copper for something. I gotta take it where I can find it. What do you get from the deer again? Hide? I definitely need hide because you need it to make outfits. I need to find one weapon and gear crate though. This would be fucking terrifying in PvP. If you just hear people on motorcycles driving by in the middle of the night. Knowing they could just shoot you. Oh, return to personal territory. Te territory teleport recommended. Oh, you can fucking teleport in this? Of course you can. I don't really need to right now. I have some crap to collect. Oh, uh, what did I just do? Oh, God. Auto attack. Return to cradle. What the fuck did I do? I brought out the butterfly and I've never used that butterfly yet because I had no clue what the hell to do with it. Season rewards now available. Okay, so you press that and then what do you do? Claim all. What did I not do?
Oh. There's some. What do I get? Mitsuko's marks. Whatever that does. Season shop. Oh. Cosmetics. Fashion. Oh, that's what the marks are for. Okay, so when you do little activities that the game wants you to do, it gives you these little cosmetic points. Oh. Uh Um I don't want to get these. Wait, the butterfly has an auto attack? Apparently. Uh watch this. I'll do it here. So you press E, auto attack. Look at the butterflies going to attack automatically. Look at that, it's fucking just attacking. Get back in your cradle! That is weird. Yeah, why are they praising the sun? Fuckers have loot. There's that guy in the middle who has some kind of like. Oh, it was this. Oh, I got a bunker access card from one of those guys. Watcher. Oh, a chest. Is that for me? Yeah. Oh no, don't play the scary music. Oh, the farmer! Oh! Okay, good, I did it. Exploration complete. Okay, I did the little thing it wanted me to do. Ooh, level four. Okay, I only want to search inside the trash can. Whoa, a plunger. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Okay, so I got this thing. I'm holding this light. And I'm going to go try to use it on someone. I just don't know what it does. burns them? Oh, it's like it's like a UV light. Oh, cool. So it's just one of those little temporary fun guns you can pick up. Ah, uh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, so these are the guys that kind of suck with the ones with the lights on their heads. Those will probably be the hardest to fight, but as long as you just do that, you can just go yoink. And they often have better materials, too. Now, see, I can use their fucking light for whatever I want. Who wants some of this? Nobody? And you can't run with it because I guess it's a heavy weapon. That'd be really cool if you could, like, cook the grass with it. That'd be neat. Okay, so maybe I have enough materials. I don't know yet, but there's my house all the way up there. I'm gonna take this tree down. Because I'm sure I'm gonna need some more wood. Alan Wake gun. Yeah. 
Is a pickaxe like Fortnite where you can break down cars and buildings? Oh, I didn't even try. That's a good idea. Runner zombies would be fun. Well, we don't even know what kind of zombies or enemies are gonna come out of this game. This is only the beginning. This is the, like, the very beginning. I don't know what these are for, but I like them. Scarlet Calamu. Interesting. What do these say? None of them. What the fuck? What is this? What is this? It's got a red mark on it. Does that mean I should shoot it? What? Prelude, kind of? What's a prelude? What do you mean? Maybe that's something that belongs to this person. It's probably like a little, like, attack bee that protects your face, I guess. <laughs> that's my guess. Turn into Pal World. <laughs> Some hologram, like Death Stranding. Yeah, it could be. Okay, so I was warned there would be stickiness. I'm stuck here, so... Self-destruct, get unstuck. Takes 15 seconds to get unstuck. Okay, it just does that to you, okay. I do like how you can get rocks and stuff from other people's territory, so it doesn't actually matter if someone, like, claims anything. You can still harvest. Assembly bench will let you take objects you've scavenged and break them down into useful materials. Okay, I got a fuckload of junk items that I have to see what to do with. Uh, I was gonna take scrap. Okay. Mm, I have to choose everything. I'll just select all. Oh, I got a lot of stuff. Oh, I see. That was just random little tools. And then I can take my actual tools and disassemble them. I can disassemble armor. Oh, I don't want to get rid of that. Gear mods. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Open memetic screen and unlock ammunition one. Okay. Where do I do that? Huh? Oh, and I know what a prelude is, but I don't understand what the, uh... Why did... what? I, I don't understand what you were asking about. How do I... 
get to the fucking thing. Cradle. It wants me to get... What did it say? This part of the game. Oh, oh, the intro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it must be like intro, I guess. Yeah. Drunk Yoda. Thanks for subscribing with your Prime on Twitch. Thanks, Drunk Yoda. I appreciate that. Hi, Levek. Uh, Mason the Jarmer, do I play Resident Evil? Not lately. But I, do, I have, yeah. Oh, menu than ammo. Oh, ammunition. Is that what it wanted me to get? Go to construction mode and build the gear workbench in territory. Okay, gear workbench. So we do... Oops, not that. Oh, wow, you can go to FPS mode. Uh, okay, so to change to building mode, you do that, and you right click, and then we go here, gear workbench. I need 30 copper ingots, and I got everything else. I'll make some ingots. Oh, I am so silly. I accidentally demolished that. <laughs> Okay, R to demolish. Uh, I want to press R. Copper. Okay, we need to make a fuckload of charcoal. Let's make that many. Then when that charcoal is done, I can set this to the Q as well. So I want to make how many? How many? Oh, it won't make the copper yet. Okay. Uh, looks really good, though, so far. Yeah, 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 it does. The robot voice reminded you of Subnautica? Oh, what a creepy game. Copper time! How fast will this go? Oh, yo, thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Yeah, that dress was so nice. Loved it. Okay, it's not going to cook uh, while I watch it. Oh, it's going to take two minutes. Okay. I will go cut down a tree. Woo! Whoa! Uh, mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Can see something in the yellow building's window. Uh, I saw that too, the pink light. I like their house, I like that, that's really cute. Can you build a roof? Yeah, I want to, I don't know how yet. I have to unlock the ability, I think. Hi, Master 77. Going good. How are you? Is it done? Really? That was only one minute? I'm so bad at telling time. Uh, oh, minute takes forever. Six more. <gasps> two more. Two more. Come on. One. Two. Okay. 
Uh, you got a busy weekend? Sad work tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sunday is my Friday, so it's like completely opposite. Great. We can use that blueprint to make both guns and ammo. <laughs> guns and ammo. ammo. You'll need to do it at a synthesis bench. Synthesis bench, for fuck's sakes. Okay. Um, I like my crossbow. Does it need to be repaired? You just give it some log, and then it repairs it. Okay, this one, unable to repair as you are not the owner. Oh, uh, what? I am the owner! Okay, so that girl gave me a recipe for this gun. Or was it something else? Oh, I can make baseball bat. Okay, that's cool. Make the crossbow. Uh, double barrel shotgun. Oh, that was the one that she gave me. The blueprint. But I do like that pistol as well. Why is it so deserted around here? Where are all the other players? Well, they were here earlier and... I don't know. I haven't heard them talking. Oh, I know why. Because when I went BRB, I uh, turned that off. But yeah, it's a closed beta. There's not. It's not going to be full of people just yet. Um, weapon craft. Okay, so here's this. Double barrel shotgun. Make tier two. Why not? Oh, insufficient materials. Oh my god, you gotta make all the individual... ...things. Okay, so I have everything. I just really need more copper. Make a fuckload of charcoal. Hi, Sally Van. Yeah, they may be at work now. Maybe, I don't know. I miss having work. Uh, I miss having Mondays and Tuesdays off work, actually. Easier to get appointments and shit done. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. Calibration? Wait, hold on. What's calibration? Weapon calibration. Oh, you can upgrade it! Oh, okay. Okay. I like the idea that you can make glass, too. That's exciting. But can you only make yellow paint on the houses? Everyone seems to be choosing yellow. I stole someone's shoddy, you said, but I don't, I don't know how I did. Because I just was picking stuff up, so, um, I'm not sure how important that is. <laughs> what does this one take to craft? Oh, waste plastic. Okay, that, that, that. Okay, let me try to make this. I'll make the frame. Ooh, I'll make the recoil action. Make the pistol slide. And then make the pistol. <gasps> yeah! Oh, I could have made a tier two one. Oh. No, I couldn't have. I need the rest of my stuff. Yay! 
Whoa, why does it look so fancy? I already have the hat. Um, can I make anything else? Oh, I can, uh, oh, I can improve the top I'm already wearing. Oh, maybe I'll just do that instead. Oh, I can make little jeans. That's cute. Okay, maybe I'll just calibrate my pants. Aw. They're already fully calibrated. But I can make tier two pants. Uh, hold on, let's see. Um, so... How do you know if they're better than what you're currently wearing? These have the exact same stats. So do these. But the armor thing that I got was actually better. What is this exactly? All purpose plastic, explore the wilderness, just simple scraps. Oh, okay. And this one is also random shit. Cotton fabric. Beryllium crystal. Oh man, we're not making tier two shit. Is that a different shirt or what? I can't tell. I don't know. Um, all right, it says uh, unlock mimetic basic equip and get MP7. Oh, I don't really want an MP7, but I will do that. Uh, what the fuck do you press again? Um, ooh, pistol. I don't want to shoot their house. Um, a mimetic. Okay, you do this, and then you do this. Cradle. Mimetic. Infrastructure. Crafting. Oh, here. Advanced ammunition. Basic gear. Is that the one it wants? Let's see. MP7. Yep. I don't really want an MP7. Oh, but I can make uh, recovering HP things. Oh, hey, I'll get that too. Create any bullet in supplies workbench. Okay, I will. Any bullet I want. Uh, this is bullet and copper everything. Okay. I have a pistol and I have a shotgun. So I'll make some shotgun ammo and some pistol. But I need to cook more copper. All of it. Okay, so now this is also making me I'm sure you'll need that weapon soon enough. Uh, that was I ominous. Just noticed the teleportation tower was activated at Deadsville. Did Mary do that? Whoever it was, we can use it to teleport straight there. Open your map and try it out. Activating teleportation towers will let us get places much faster and avoid any dangers along the way. I'll do that. Uh, I'm just checking so far. What the hell is this? <laughs> You can, of course, plant your own corn. Put them in a planter box, for fuck's sakes. Okay, it wants me to fast travel to Deadsville, so I click it and press teleport. Ooh, hey, look at this. Look at all the shit you can do. I'm not even uh, at any of that yet. Hi, GLND, bro. Hey, look, there's people here! Oh my god, it is like the division! Oh, nice outfit, hey. Claire. What are all these notes here? Sheesh! <laughs> okay. I have a mail. It was. 
Ooh, okay. Ooh, give me a whole bunch of stuff. Cool. Okay, where is that woman? That picture looks like a killer spider bus. Uh, yeah, I think that's kind of what it is. It, that's what it looked like. Larry. Has nothing to see to me. How about this guy? What are you selling? Oh, flatbread, roasted meat, and wheat. Okay, that's cool. Woo! Yeah, Ada Wong. Good. You made it. You're the one who activated this tower? Yeah, I figured this was the quickest way to bring you here. These towers are even supposed to let you travel between worlds. But I haven't been able to figure out how. Maybe you'll have more luck. Either way, I'm glad it got you here. Deadsville is the perfect place to dig up info on the area. That team world by the old truck looks like she gets around. Maybe she knows something useful. Tasks menu, press L. Uh, I'm not high enough level for that one yet. But I mean, I fucking can. Whoa! Interact the teleportation tower. Oh. Mm hmm. Hmm. Change to another world. It says I need to be level six for that, though. This person's level 18. Are some things written in another language? Yes. Mandarin, maybe? I'm not sure. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh my god, there's so many things. Oh no. I want to get these. Oh my god, sofas and cabinets and stuff. Oh shit. What is that unit? I got seven. Stellar planula. Ooh. Controller. Okay. Oh, this is fucking crazy. Okay, so there must be raids that you do, like in Division, with other randos. Oh my god. If it's as hard as the Division raids, uh, oh, we're in for a treat. Claire. Wanna buy something? No, tell me something. See anything you like. I'm always open for business. Mmm, I'm just looking. Wait, you're a Mayfly, aren't you? Thank God, I could use some help. My name's Claire, Claire Lay. Normally I'm a wandering merchant, but now I'm stuck here. I sent a team over to a place called the Rotten Manor three days ago to collect some goods for me. But they never came back. Maybe they ran off with the goods. Don't be so cynical. I've been through thick and thin with them. They wouldn't do that to me. I'm afraid something must have happened to them. Rumor is, the Rotten Manor's seen a surge of deviance recently. I suspect there's a deviation behind it. A Rotten Manor. I like the uh, syringes on her. A deviation. All I know is what I heard from that well-dressed gentleman over there. <laughs> he should be able to tell you more. He definitely stands out. We better see what he knows. Good luck. Oh, oh the, what happened to your face? Lord, if you can recover my stuff for what me. the I'll hell? Oh, I think the, the sun just changed angles. For you. Just, oh, uh, <laughs> make sure to stock up on ammo before you go. All right. She just got a really rough looking. <laughs> um, a well dressed man. Uh, yeah, really well dressed. And know the place for the first time, through the unknown, unremembered gate. 
Are you trying too hard? Oh, I mean, uh, are you rehearsing for something? Ah, a mayfly. And one who seems to be brimming with potential. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Do you know about a deviation affecting this area? You've come to the right man. I am Samuel Lowe, a humble scholar specializing in the <laughs> fascinating phenomena we call deviations. And as for you, you seek keys with which to unlock the Dark Tower, don't you? But I'd be wary of what else you might open up. Do you always speak in riddles like this? I was merely setting the mood. Now, you're interested in the deviation inside that monolith, aren't you? But as I said, that tower is locked up tight. And its keys are rift anchors, scattered across the Dayton wetlands. Rift anchors? Those things are made by Rosetta, aren't they? Activating them should give us access to the rift space inside the monolith. Spot on. And where would these anchors be? Usually places with the heaviest stardust pollution. The Rotten Manor would definitely be one of them. Right again. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do, Mayfly. And by the way, I wouldn't mind adding another deviation to my collection. In fact, I'd reward you handsomely for it. You can have uh, face textures or lip syncing, but not both. Yeah. Apparently. Okay, send me on a raid. I wish I was freaking high enough level to raid yet. Now that we know what to do, let's split up to cover more ground. I'll find a way to hack into the monolith. Once you've activated the rift anchors, come meet me at the monolith gate. I'll find a way to the thing. Okay, you slowly pan up over my boobs just to get a good look at them. Just don't forget to bring plenty of ammo. This won't be easy. Oh, and one more thing. I have a motorcycle here you can use. That should help speed things along. Oh, fuck yeah, give me that. Bring plenty of ammo. Um... Oh, do I have ammo? I have enough. Okay, fuck it. Oh wait, hold on. Do you sell ammo? Let me just check. What are you buying? Small frames, blueprints. I don't know what the fuck that's for. Are you ammo? No. Uh, this guy sells the fucking blueprints and stuff, right? I don't want those. I want ammo. Is that a real guy? I have no idea. Oh, guys, ran into him. What does that exclamation point mean? Savignon Blanc or Pinot Grigio. Hmm? What? I'm afraid I only have two kinds right now. Both whites. <laughs> Not a lot of wineries left once civilization collapses, unfortunately. What's your deal, dude? You didn't call me over here just to share a drink. What's your game? I have a Straight voice! To the point. I like that. All of a sudden? Yes, there are some things I want out there. Deviations. An ordinary person couldn't handle them, so I'm looking for someone capable to find them and bring them back for me. And you, you look plenty capable. But also, no offense. Like you might be a bit short of funds. So how about we help each other out? You'll pay me to run your errands? Precisely. I'm offering true hard currency. Batteries. Dollars, euros, pounds. Those are all just scrap paper now. Batteries, on the other hand. Corrosion resistant, conductive. Now those are worth something. You just have to go to these locations on the map. The last places those deviations were spotted. Someone shine their flashlight in his face. easy to catch, so you'd better go prepared. That's so funny. It's like live, uh, live cutscenes. I can't make any promises, but if this agreement's as mutually beneficial as you say, I'll see if I can find the time. Of course. Just remember, if you find yourself stymied in your progress or your cash runs tight, that there's a humble scholar here who studies deviations, and he'd always be glad to pay for a little help. Okay, so is this guy flashing his flashlight there? If he's talking to him too... How do you know when someone's sitting there? 
So if he was sitting here in this cutscene and I'm and I'm doing this behind him like this, they would definitely see me doing this. Hopefully they're in that cutscene right now. I can see this. <laughs> okay. Woo! Let me on the bike. Oh yeah. This looks like it'll be fun to ride. music doesn't go. Um, okay. Wow. Now it's like days gone. girl also doesn't have pants. Do you want to get on my bike? I'm just wondering about this music. I know it's in beta. I can't make fun of anything in beta. But I mean, it's good. I just, it just, whoa! <laughs> I didn't even see that silver. <laughs> oh, the music is back on. Oh, okay. Okay, I really gotta watch out for rocks, I guess. <laughs> Ada Wong lady is gonna be like burn that bike seat when you get it back. <laughs> yeah. Look at all these camp areas here. What? Why would they do that? Concentration. Whoa! She set up a campsite before rushing into the run. Oh. Chasing us. How do you get off the bike? Oh, uh, shit. I'm gonna build a little camp over here. But I just can't figure out how to get off a bike. Oh, where the fuck? I swear I pressed F. Okay, apparently not. Oh my god, that that is some very jarring music.
Okay, place campsite around Rotten Manor to create a respawn point. Okay. Um, so all you do is just... You press B. Okay, structures, facilities. Um, I forget how you put down a fucking camp. Uh, move territory, open build menu. What am I missing? <laughs> yeah, I need to mark my territory first. So how do you fucking put the territory thing down? Um... G... no. Oops. Um. Let me just see if I'm missing it. Is it in this thing? I don't know! What is it called? Oh god, how do you put down a- Yo, speed glass, hey, do it again? Um... Nothing says biking like sad violin music. Ah, uh, Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck. Um... Isn't Valheim still early access? Seems like a cheap way to avoid criticism. Yeah, it probably is. Um... It is, yeah, definitely. But, uh, I mean, I- I like that they release things early so you can try them out, I just... Camp is the T button. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Of course it is. It cannot be built near a road? All these people are building this near a road. Uh oh. All right, it ain't much, but it's mine. Hey, I'm gonna shoot that thing. Get off of that guy's camp. He doesn't know you. Okay, so that's my camp now. Good for me. Uh, explore the interior of Rotten Manor. Oh. So you definitely can't get your bullets back. That's not how those work. But it would be cool if you could! Mm. 
Ooh, Rotten Manor. Hey, this fucker. Shoot him right in his little butt. Ew, what is that? A fly with a giant balls? Ooh. This gun kind of sucks, man. Uh, I want to touch that, I but Claire's guns. Too bad her team didn't make it, though. Look at this substance. It must have come from that faster jail deviation. Uh, okay. Oh shit! I'm calling out my. Oh no! My butterfly is out. Give the command to summon what the fuck? What? Auto attacking fatal flaw, what? Oh, I shot the butterfly at it. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was a lot of damage it did. Okay, so killing that big motherfucker. Is what you had to do. Okay. Game seems too easy. No, that's just a um That's, easy. that's a tutorial mission. Although, I've noticed some other strange starter readings elsewhere. Quite similar to what we encountered here. I've marked their locations. Hopefully we'll find the other rift anchors there. Um, specialization available. Oh. Oh. Uh, once less the uh, cannot be changed at will. <gasps> Not at will! Okay, how about pickaxe, moonlight mining? Oh. And only mine during the day. Can I get any of these? Okay. Seems easy. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, it is if you can fucking shoot their heads. Uh... What's that little blinkety blink sound? My uh, crossbow is stronger than this gun. I wanna go in the manor. Let's try my other gun. Shoddy. <laughs> Mystical crate, second floor right? Ah, oh, yeah. Is there a level choice? No, 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 it's uh... It's like division MMO style, so it's... It scales. I think it's just like the difficulty is the difficulty. If it's anything like the division, the game is nice and easy right at the very beginning. And then a few hours in, it kicks your ass so hard you want to uninstall. Get out of there!
What did you have on you? A toilet plunger? For fuck's sakes. Ew. The roof to okay. Guy in there. What are you doing in there? What are you doing there? Oh, that's where the treasure is. A new pistol. Yeah, that's fun. I need to press Q. Oh, that'll that scans something purple in here. That? That's yellow. But also purple. What? That's a lot of stuff. MG4? <laughs> oh man, can I take the microwave? Oh, for fuck's sakes. I wanna look inside the fridge, maybe? Oh, I can't open any of this. Hey, Jacobus. Whoa, there's two of you. What the fuck? Pepper bush? Oh, you don't collect pepper, you just collect wood there. Explore the Dayton wetland settlement and unlocked enough rift anchors. Sure, but what is that? So yeah, sometimes they have stuff to loot on them, other times no. Now what happens if I shoot this yellow thing? Nothing. You gotta watch these fucking weird ball sack flies. I don't know what they're gonna drop on your head. Disgusting. Alright, so I guess when you get in a group and you're getting swarmed by enemies, this probably gets pretty fucky. Eh, what is that? A little robot thing? Oh, it's one of those, uh... Wait, so there's some zombies with lights for heads, and then there's also some insects with lights for heads. Okay. I don't understand the significance, really.
Are those mushrooms on them? Hmm. Mm -mm, I don't know. Oh, staroid. Oh, I thought it was steroid. I thought our character was gonna get beefy. I need to start a garden. Stupid. I got an unthaw. Wait, does that five say? What does that five mean? Fuck you, freezer demon. That is fucking weird. Has anyone played Silent Breath? Came out a few days ago on Steam. Uh, what is it? Sounds like a horror game. I'm trying to figure out what that blink, 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 blink sound is. This is a rift anchor, right? Okay, so this is called Dayton Wetlands. Uh, there's something I want to discuss with you. Summon V. Oh, okay. Oh, also tutorial all the way over there. Maybe I missed that. Um, what's this one called? Deadsville. Rift Anchor. That's my house. Oh, I can teleport to my house anytime I want. Call of Childhood, Citrus County nearby, blah, blah, blah. What is the transmitting anomalous signals that sound like dolls? Oh, that sounds not scary at all. Uh, camp. Okay. Where is Dayton Wetlands? Is this the whole area? Okay, I will summon the guy, V. Accept and complete a commission to earn rewards. Okay. You just told that and you talked to him to enter commissions menu. Okay. Commissions. Oh my god. Oh, it is just like uh, Division. I feel like Division has a lot of this stuff. Log! Oh, uh, let's see, paste the description. Unpredictable horrors. Uh. Oh, it's that one! Oh, the one where you have to have your microphone on. Oh. For the, you know. I mean, that is pretty interesting. That, that could be funny. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so I'm near this rift anchor, so that means... Wait, what does this say? Shadow Man. What is this plant? <laughs> okay, I would like to fast travel out of here, please. Take me to this place. Teleport.
only thought that you could teleport from anywhere. I think you can. I just it won't let me teleport here for some reason. Or wait, no, that's not where I was, was it? Oh, I was somewhere else. Hold on, where was the city that I met all those people at? Thruville? Uh, was it down there? No. No, I was maybe here? That's unactivated. Settlement details. Teleport. 37 out of 70. Yeah, it should give me, right? Unless I didn't activate the teleportation thing there. That could be why. Uh, okay, well, I'll just get on my fucking motorcycle and uh, go there. How do you change the station? That's a cute little house. I get what they're trying to make there. Is this the place? That's enough of that weird, weird freaking uh, R for radio. Didn't even, didn't even try that. Bilbo Blobbins. That's that guy's name. Should I say it? Bilbo Blobbin. I hope that scared him. <laughs> this is stupid. Okay. Uh, so where is, this is the teleport thing, right? So I already, teleportation tower. Although I actually didn't figure out what the fuck changed in their world meant. That's scary. What's this? Oh, what item is that? It's weird that there's nobody talking here. It is on, right? Change another world. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, you can just choose it. Wait, what the fuck is this? Phantom? What? Blackbird? What does that fucking do? Oh, it just changes servers so that you can do raids with other people, I guess. So is my home still in this world then? If it's a different world? Oh god. No. World 7, Blackbird is where I live. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. 
Let's go back to my house. This is still in beta. You'll see some unintentional Twilight Zone moments. Oh, uh, yeah, there's been uh, a few of those. Twerk for in-game currency. Yeah, right. There isn't even a frickin' emote for that. Yay! Ooh, glass. Gravel and charcoal. Yeah. Okay, I'll make some more charcoal. Many. And then that many of those. Sure. Play a gift. Oh, I can trash my stuff. So disassemble all of this shit. I don't need it. Select all. But I can disassemble all this fancier stuff too. I don't know if it wants me to. I need to find some kind of special item that has the... What are these? Weapon mod parts? Oh god, no, don't disassemble those. I gotta find how to make like the blue plastic chips because that's something I need. Can I repair this? Yay! Unable to repair as you are not the owner. Well, how the fuck do I make myself the owner of a gun? Because that should be mine. Weapon calibration. Oh, maybe if I calibrate it, it'll be mine. This huntsman looks like it's worth calibrating because it's blue. Let's just see what happens if I calibrate it. Does it become mine? <gasps> no, it doesn't! Mm, okay. Well, I can make this gun really good, apparently. I would need to use Stardust Source. Okay. Sure. Even more copper. Okay, why not? Oh, I want to calibrate my shirt. No, I can't. I, I can't calibrate that either. Fuck. Calibrate my boots! With shabby fabric. Okay. Yeah! Waste plastic and stardust make my boots even better. Oh, they're fully calibrated now. Okay, how about this hat? I should definitely wear that hat. That's kind of cute. Okay, so if I go inventory gear here. Um, my hat. Yeah, that one's cute. Ah, that's really cute. Yes. I'll put that on. Okay, I definitely, definitely gotta uh, find some fucking pants. But I do really like this shirt. This is just so nice. It's so much worse, though. Oh yeah, this is so much better. Um, are those my good boots that I just upgraded? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't have any pants. <laughs> but what is this little diamond thing? Can you modify bottom mods? I did not. What did he say? Reminds you of Rust, but it's in its own style. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely kind of rusty. Biker chicks from Rukaville.
When will Megan play Suicide Squad? I bet there's a large niche of audience dying to see anyone play it. For sure. Uh, okay, I can upgrade my pants with weak spot damage boost or melee something. I don't know what that says. Is it permanent? Might as well put that there, I guess. Okay, so did that. Um, now, if I look at my guns, is there a weapon mod slot there? Yes, there is. Okay, so my shotgun, I can put a munitions amplifier. Uh, I only have two of those. Okay, so yes, put that there. Sure, plus 3% damage. <gasps> I can give it an accessory. Oh, what? Ooh, I would need to buy one of those things. Dang, okay. I don't have anything unlocked for that. I can choose the ammo that I want. Right now I'm using copper shotgun ammo. But I can choose to put fancy stuff on there. What? What? You can put stickers on this skin. Oh man. I don't know where you unlock the ship, but it's for sure one of those cosmetic point things. Octopi, hi. I want to make this machine gun mine, I just don't know how to make it mine. I really like it, I don't want to have to destroy it. Oh fuck, blueprints, okay. Um... What does this little symbol mean? I can make all of these guns? What? No way. No. Oh, fuck's sakes. You need blueprint fragments to get those. Okay. So how to get open weapon crates. That's how I got that one. I've got 40 blueprint fragments and all these guns cost 60, 80, 80. Okay. It's for sure. It's because I found it rather than crafted it. It has to be. So I wonder if there's any reason to keep it at all. Um, and, oh, I have this for some reason. Um, is there any shorts? There's only more of these. Gloves, boots, no high heels. No, you cannot. Okay, why'd they give this the jiggle physics? I want this one. You have to participate in events. Aww. This would be so cute. Participate in events to get this. Fuck's sakes, man. Uh, no. No pants. Never. Never pants. Whoa, imagine this. Thanks, Octopi, for the 100 bits. What the fuck? Oh, there's a fucking eye patch. Fuck. Ugh. That is so cute. I wish I could have that outfit. Um, do, 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 do. Confirm. Okay, yeah, I know. Right, so while we were dawdling all over that, let's see. 
what I can make. Oh, I don't have any copper. Oh, I made glass and charcoal. I want to build a house. Okay. Let's build a house. Uh, it needs more Conan-style physics. Honestly, I'm not even, um, familiar that much with the Conan physics. But I know what that game had, so I can imagine. Okay. So to build a house, you just do this, and then this, and then you go to fucking... Uh, structures, wood foundation. Overlaps with other objects. Oh crap, it's overlapping with everything! Maybe this is like the worst area ever for my territory since I can't even build a fucking house here. <laughs> Hi, youth. Um, okay, obviously that's not what I gotta do. Maybe a wall. Oh, crap. Oh, for fuck's sakes, I have to build a camp or something. I gotta move it? My territory? I'm not sure. Is there a way you can, like, lift up and move your whole territory? Okay, copy building part. Yeah, copy building part. Uh, what? So, I feel like, um... The open build menu, rotate all, adjust height, light mode. Oh, what the? Oh, get back out of that. Cancel. I don't know. Copy. Mm, fuck's sakes. I mean, I have the materials for it, but, um, okay. Probably just a shit location I chose. I'll try changing my territory to just be like up here, maybe? Entire frickin' territory. Oh, of course they thought of that. No cost. Okay. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's very convenient. Uh, all right. So let's do this again. Copy building part. Overlaps with other motherfucking objects. How? At least this time it snaps there. What do I fucking do? Is it because I need to like cut the tree down or something? Let's find out. I'm just wondering, do I have to fucking like... I'll take down all of the trees. I could have just chosen like a really stupid uh, position for this base. <laughs>
Wait, someone left a note in the bush right here. Maybe it says, don't build here. Why can't you start with an existing house? Yeah, that'd be nice. This one says, welcome to my house, and there's no house here. Okay. Unless that's the house over there. Fuck, I don't know. Okay, now let's see if I can do it. Copy and paste, 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 paste. Overlaps. Better built in a very flat place. <gasps> oh, look at that. Look at this. Oh, it's flat enough here. Fuck yeah. There you go. Just not there. Okay, I can have a fucking foyer and a veranda and a fucking backyard and a pool and... Okay. It's probably way too many uh, I items. Oh, you can't build there? That works. Okay, so I'm going to make some walls now. Ooh. Where will the mudroom be? Mm, mudroom, I'm going to say probably back here. Yeah, mudroom. What does that little thing mean? What's the inside and what's the outside? I mean, if it's like, Ross, there's a side that you want to put inside, and there's a side you want to show outside. Um, fuck, I don't know. Let's get rid of this one, though. I guess you want that on the outside? Maybe? I don't know. It knocks down trees when you do that. Okay. Oh, I put that too close there. Okay. I will demolish this. Copy building part, yeah. I'll just like move this over here. Oh, I don't have any fucking copper for it. You're supposed to be able to do this and then just say demolish. Oh, how did that get up there? Uh, insufficient permission. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Put the jacuzzi back on the wish list. Make sure you have a jacuzzi. <laughs> Alright, well, my house is gonna suck, I guess, a little bit. Can I make a roof? Wood wall, wood wall two. Oh no, not allowed to have a door. Wood gable. Oh no, I'm gonna make the worst fucking house in the world if I fuck these gables up. Oh yeah, shit's about to get really bad. Uh, structures. Okay, door and window. Where is roof? This has a lot of details. I like this. Uh, roofs. Ah, oh, you are too poor for a roof. Okay, to unlock that shit, I press like O, and then medics. Then you go to this house and choose roof. Yeah. Doggies make roof roof. Yes. This drives you nuts in survival games. 
Yeah, it can get really annoying if you are used to things working in a certain way and then the freaking game wants to just turn that on its head. I must have a doorway. Right there. Okay, now I need some fucking stairs. That doesn't overlap with. Okay, well, fuck, that's not the door anymore. Good enough. Now let's put some roofs on this bitch. Green roof? Ooh, wood roof top. Hey, that's nice. That uh, fixes that. Should fix that uh, here too. Woo, there you go. Okay. Um, oh, what an ugly house I'm building. Oh, all the neighbors are going to be so embarrassed. Do they not have a 45? Would they have a smaller roof, perhaps? That's what we got. This Franken roof abomination. Hey, what's that big hole in the roof? <laughs> okay. This goes there. No. This one. Oh, there's a freaking one with a window? Oh, man. I just need to seal up this hole, I think. I don't know. Uh, gable! Yeah, gable. Put that in there. In the gable hole! Yeah, I don't know what the fuck this is, but that'll have to be okay. Okay, good for me. I put, a, I put windows now. Oh my god, you can just fucking put windows anywhere! Oh my god. That's so nice. I'm gonna put a doorway here. That's a bedroom. Um, what else can I put? Uh, a wood column? Oh no, you better not freaking make me require columns. Furniture, a table. A chair. Just me dining here, so, oh, I'm out of wood. Oh, fuck that! We have to just eat at a table! Oh, that's cool. Wow. Hmm. I bet the neighbors will be very jealous of my home. Looks pretty nice, I think! You make Mike Holmes proud. Mm. <laughs> that's a cute house. No wonder everyone's got the same color house, though. You can't paint it. At least, I don't... ...know if you can paint it. Oh, prints! You can't do this. <gasps> Parquet flooring! No. That's not parquet, that's fucking herringbone. Oh my god. 
Ceilings, floors, walls. <gasps> I want a brick house. Oh. Hmm. And a brick foundation. No. Roofs. White roof. Oh, that's so cute. Am I applying the white roof to the thing by touching it from the back? I don't know. What about ceiling? Ooh, whoa. Holy crap. This should cost you to do something. I think it should cost you to do this cosmetic. Honey drizzle wallpaper. Ew, no thanks. Oh my god, you can fucking totally paint the inside of your house. This is crazy! Oh my god, there's framing? What else can I make? Okay, that's fucking cool. I like that. That's really nice. That I'm actually really surprised you can make this kind of nice designs in this. That's that's quite surprising to me. Um Okay. That game has a lot of options and a lot of um, future ability. Um, that has a. That's not a word, um, but it has a lot of potential, that game, honestly. I can see that being really, really good. As of right now, it's janky as fuck, uh, but it's still definitely playable and. It's a free game if you can get a beta code for it, so might as well play it because it's free. Mm. I'm not sure if the final game is free to play. Did you guys ever hear? That'd be interesting if it was. Um, it's the same people, I think, who make Naraka Blade Point, and I don't remember if that's a free game or not. I don't remember. I put, I, I washed my hair last night and I put so much hairspray and product in it today. It's like, it's like crunchy. Oh God. I have to like wash it again tonight. I put so much mousse in it that it got all like crispy and stuff. Too much. I, I put the mousse in my hand and the, the, the pile was like this big. <laughs> What's showering? Oh, I'll tell you one day when it's Mr. Tasty. Um, really, Rouge Interesting. I see Envy. You did make it look good, though. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I mean, uh, they didn't hire me or sponsor me or anything. I was just interested. Because I saw someone else playing uh, this yesterday and was like, how do I play that? So I contacted the developer and was like, let me play that, please. And then they, they let me, so. Uh, very good. Thanks for letting me play, guys. Um, you guys, thank you for watching the stream today. This is the end stream of the week. You're not going to see me until Wednesday, okay? I greatly appreciate your stream support and uh, your, your company and patronage and attention and nice words and all this stuff. Uh, all this nice stuff. I appreciate you guys, okay? Uh, thank you very kindly for supporting the stream today and winning the mug today, Steve. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Thursday is no rest for the wicked. Yeah, I looked at that on Steam. Uh, I mean, it looks like freaking like... I don't know. I mean, I would watch videos of it. Ugh, I don't know. Um, It looked like... To touch Torchlight? Torchlight? Is that the one? Um, Thank you, Octopi, Drunk Yoda, Burnaby, Steve, Lewis, Axel, Boomer Ties. Thanks, guys. 
Oh, hello, Rika. I will see you guys on Wednesday or Thursday, probably Wednesday. And we'll play something new, something interesting. Okay. Have a good night. Don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube. Click the bell for notifications about the stream. Follow on Twitch. Join my Discord. Follow me on Instagram, etc. All different places. Okay? Good night, friends. Bye-bye. Bye, Ruka. Bye-bye.